This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the childs. I kind of forgot about that. We'll do it live. Check, check, testing, testing. Looking at things, dangle clacks, dangle clacks. Okay. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Trucking Thursday, November 16th. Just like I predicted in the last vlog, here we are. I knew we could do it. You guys are in the right spot. I really appreciate you being here tonight. Sexy King Phil's here. Addy Tooney, of course, is here. Barbara. My cousin Barbara's here. Uh, bearded vape god Jay Blaze, Jason Chaz, Darth Vapor is here. The 60 watt guy is here. Tribal Buddha is here. Simple Vape. I, 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 I really the Vapor Esso guy's here too. I can't believe we let him in. Who let him? Who let the Vapor Esso? <laughs> who let that guy in here? Anyway, I'm I'm really excited to see you guys. I'm really excited to vlog tonight, dude. We've been I've been looking forward to this for a few weeks now. I was gone. I was in the UK. I was up in Santa Rosa. I was uh, spending time to help take care of my dad. It was it was really good times. We're back here to vlog. We're gonna vlog. We're not gonna have a vlog next week because Thanksgiving, but we'll be back the week after. Okay. I'm sorry that the schedule is a little bit weird towards the end of the year. I'm going to try to cram in as many vlogs as I possibly can. And some of those vlogs might not be happening on a Thursday in order to get some more vlogs into the, into the year here, into the end of the year, into the end of season, what is this? Season 10, season 11 <laughs> of the vlog live stream. But, uh, here we go. You know, I got a full on action packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. There's not going to be any timestamps on the screen. There'll be timestamps. The first pinned comment is all of those timestamps. We also turn them into chapters. Thanks to uh, my main man in the chat, Jeremy V. I don't know what I'd do without you, Jeremy V. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're my main man and you're in the chat and I, and I appreciate it. He's gathering all the timestamps. Let me give you a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up tonight. A hello. We got a hello. We got some beer sitting literally right here. Uh, we're going to talk about what I've been vaping, what you've been vaping. We're going to sing happy birthday. Of course we are. I got some news. I got some news. Some of the news is going to be pre-recorded, and then I'm going to spend hopefully no more than five-ish minutes after the news and advocacy. You're just kind of tacking something on to the end of it there. But of course, we're going to have some news. Um, we're going to have a haul. We're going to have vape mail and my haul from the UK. It's been a lot. It's just been piling up. Mail has been piling up. And I, I truly and honestly, with the exception of one mech mod, one mech mod that I don't even know where it is, one mech mod, I haven't touched any of the things that I got in the UK. So I'm going to dig out everything that I got in the UK. So we have UK haul, we have mail. I may set something up. I may not. We're going to have a retro vaping. We're going to have a liquid tasting. This is going to be a full on action packed vlog. Vicky Benji, you know, I wish I could say, I wish I could say that the news was going to be good. <laughs> Man, one of these days, Vicky Benji, one of these days, Vicky Benji, we're going to start a stream. We're going to start a vlog. I might be like 56 at the time. I might be 60 at the time. I'm not sure how long Grim Green's going to you know, survive on the internet, but I'll survive here as long as I can. One of these days, we're going to have a vlog that's going to be nothing but good news. It's going to be nothing but good news. It's going to be like, oh, look at that. World Health Organization has uh, done a 180 on tobacco harm reduction. Oh, look at that. The new head of the FDA, the new commissioner of the FDA, Dave Davidson, he's pro harm reduction. Oh, he's looking at all this science. Who else works for the FDA? I don't know. Maybe other people that we know. Greg Conley. What? Greg Conley's working at the FDA now. We have all these market authorizations and vape shops are thriving again. Someday, someday, maybe not those exact announcements, <laughs> not, not those exact announcements, but something similar to that. It, we're going to have good news at some point. I really believe it's just a matter of time. Uh, I wish we had some more good, good news tonight, but we don't really have a super, 
Super lot of good news tonight. Um, here's the thing. Let's start this off correctly. Let's have a beer. That's what I want to do. That's what we should do. I think we're going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm really out of practice. You know, I say that anytime I take a little tiny break, but I feel like I'm really out of practice. In fact, we're not going to do beer. Let's do the super chats. And we're running long tonight, so I can't possibly play the whole bumper. Slater. Good Lord, that's very gracious of you. I'm sorry if the stream is acting wonky to anybody else, but it says that my bitrate is a little too low, and I don't know how to change that. Uh, I thought I had fixed this before, but apparently I haven't. Apparently I haven't. We'll have to fix it for the next stream. So I apologize. YouTube's just giving me a silly warning. I also, side note, I also had to take a YouTube training class because of my strikes um, and because of all the warnings that they gave me. They gave me a little notification when I got on YouTube the other day and said, hey, do you want to sit through this community guidelines training and we'll take away your warnings? Sure. I, right now I have no warnings. I have no strikes or anything on this YouTube because I sat through this training and it was like the most boring corporate training where they give you questions like, okay, your strikes were for regulated goods. So in this situation, would this be a strike? And it's like, Allison is selling this on her website and on her video, she puts a link to her regulated goods. Does this deserve a strike? And you go, yeah. Yeah, that was, deserves a strike. I know the rules. So anyway, I sat through this weird little corporate training from uh, YouTube. Now I'm strike free, warning and strike free, which is a, is a really good place to be. But I, warn, I felt like I was back at working at Starbucks when, when you know, you'd get you would do these corporate trainings at Starbucks about like, you know, uh, protecting our business assets and things like that. And it's like, if a coworker asks you to email a spreadsheet to her personal email address, should you do this? Is that in Starbucks best interest? Anyway, I felt like I was being talked down to the whole time. Slater, I don't know why I felt the need to mention that. Slater, let's get on with the vlog. Slater, that's very gracious of you. He said, hey, my dog's being nice to me because I'm injured, so you get this instead. Hey, love y'all, like the stream, like the stream, may all of your vapes leak for life. <laughs> what? <laughs> like the stream, may all of your vapes leak for life. Hashtag Bushku, hashtag save the cotton. Save the cotton. People would be upset if they saw how much cotton I wasted today re-wicking the RDA for the random liquid tasting. The Great Seamus. Welcome back, good sir. It was my wife's birthday, November 2nd. If you want to jot that down for birthdays, Ready for this action-packed evening? Hell yeah. Her name is Sarah. Seamus, I got to tell you, I read that before the stream. I already wrote her name down. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We'll, we'll include Sarah in the happy birthdays. DD, damn it. Hashtag MTVD. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, DD. Seriously. Jangles too. Jangles. Full on bussin' vlog. Hey, love you, brother. Hey, Jangles. I love you. And I, you, I, I don't know if you spelled it wrong or if autocorrect filled that in, but it's B-U-S-T-I-N-G, actually. B-U-S-T-I-N-G. All uppercase, you got that part right. B-U-S-T-I-N-G. Maybe that was autocorrect that got you there. Tribal Buddha band review tonight? I don't know. I hope so. I mean, I hope so. Here's the thing. It's penciled in. It's penciled in after the mail, before the liquid tasting, there's a little BR right here. It says band review, BR question mark. Maybe there may be a band review. If we have time, we'll definitely do a band review tonight. If not next week, next time, next vlog for sure. Tribal Buddha, you see, he sent in some music and I want to listen to it and I want to review it. Metal Morrissey, 32. Yep. Oh, actually, you won. How did you know? Congratulations, Metal Morrissey. You just won a boosh box. I don't know how you pulled that out of the air. <laughs> Trapped musing on a professional hiatus. Uh, my cat wouldn't shut up, so I took her to the vet and left her there. Said I would collect her after the vlog. Hey, listen. 
time apart is can sometimes be uh, you know a really good uh, sort of healthy thing. I'm gonna mark these that I've read them. Miss those super chats. Just just waiting for that new wave, Dave. You know, just waiting for that new wave, Dave. Now, now it's time to drink a beer. Oh, yes. What do we have here? This is an A- Anger, Anger Oktoberfest Marzen. I've had one of these before from uh, the, uh, you know, it, he's a bit of a legend here. Face Meat. Uh, the Face Meat has sent me, they said it was his favorite beer of the fall season. So I got a nice cold Anger Oktoberfest Marzen here. Highly, highly rated beer. We're not doing, uh, we're not chewing any bourbon tonight. I decided tonight is a night for beer. It's chilly and cold and rainy outside. This Oktoberfest Marzen sounds like it's going to be exactly what I want. Like I said, it's got, oops, hang on. It's got some uh, solid, solid ass reviews over there on Beer Advocate. 90% 90% score over there on Beer Advocate. So let's get to pouring. Going to pour this into, uh, you know, Grim Army, two, uh, Grim Army pint glass right over my keyboard, just like old times, just like the olden days. <laughs> just like Oscar the Grouch. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Doesn't it look like something you want to consume immediately? Just 100 percently, no haze, just that clear crystal amber. You can kind of see my face through it. Hello and welcome. I kind of look like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what was his name from the the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the guy in the blue. Where's Frames Jenklin at? Where's my Where's Frames? I need you, Frames. What was that guy's name? Zed? No, that was the bad guy. What was the guy in the in the anyway? That's the guy I look like. I'm an idiot and I can't remember his name. So cheers. Hope you have something delicious next to you. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's like the cleanest, crispiest, spiciest, full-bodied beer. It's a pure Oktoberfest style beer. Super easy drinking. I get a huge body from it huge body from it but it's so clean Uh uh-oh did somebody say it in the chat maggots it's so clean i I could drink 16 of these in a row i don't know why i chose 16 maybe it's because it's november 16th but here we are what am i tasting it tastes like um apricots apricots or something Let's, let's look for one of these reviews what are uh, what are the highest oh recent reviews okay um people just say things like flavorful and it's like yeah it's of course it's flavorful what are we tasting definitely a heavier beer i don't know if i would call it heavy but it's very big mouthfeel it's very big body the kind of liquid bread europeans have for dinner still tasty but nothing so distinct you would write about it. Not a year-round drink, but great for cold weather. Yeah, sure, great for cold weather. Malty caramel on the nose. Nice head, just the right of carbonation on the tongue. It tastes like what an Oktoberfest Marzen should taste like, the gold standard. All right, so apparently an Oktoberfest Marzen should taste like a malty caramelness. I, for some reason, taste a little bit of apricot in here. Don't know why. I jam on some IPAs. I jam on I jam on any beers, honestly. If if there's a beer out there, I'd like to taste it. I'll jam on anything. I like Pilsners, I like Grolsch style beers, I like Oktoberfest style beers. I prefer like beers from Belgium, like uh any Trappist monks brewing beers in Belgium. Yeah. Pour it in my face, just down my gullet. Those monks in Belgium really know how to brew a damn hell ass good 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 bottle of beer good cup of beer i guess technically this is a cup of beer but i've never heard anybody ever say i'm having a cup of beer cup of beer 
Damn, that's hell ass delicious. What do I pair it with? Probably this, right? Maybe this. Let's start off with this. Let's start off with 21 grams. Let's start off with 21 grams. Twisted Timmy, killing it in the liquid game. Ugh. 21 grams, sorry, burp life. 21 grams in an Oktoberfest. Let's go. Oh, baby, that's good. That's good. That is damn hell ass good. These are just two good flavors that go so well together. That 21 grams. Man, oh man. This might honestly like become a legacy liquid for me. It's one of my favorite bakery flavors I may have ever had ever. Get out of here. That's good. I don't even want to try the tobacco now. I had the uncommon number four tobacco ready to go as well, but I don't think it's going to stack up. <laughs> it's my own liquid. I don't think it's going to stack up. That's okay. Let's see, just for science reasons. You know what? It's still pretty good. <laughs> it's still pretty good. It's not quite as good as that 21 grams. I can't recommend this liquid enough. If anybody is even remotely interested in like a bakery graham cracker type of flavor, good lord. Good Lord, Twisted Timmy. I think I said this on Instagram, but it makes me mad at how good that liquid is. It actually upsets me at how good that liquid is. I think my last legacy liquid, Earn says 21 grams is a legacy liquid. I think my current and only Legacy liquid is guava jelly. It's Eric. It's deep cuts. I'll, I'll guava jelly all day long. Maybe guava jelly and, and some own boy mango for, for Casey. Oh. And we're set. We're good. Guava jelly. Psh, that's it. That's my, that's my current legacy liquid. If, if Smack's pony on acid still existed, I would be vaping the crap out of that. That was my other legacy liquid or like a coil spill rich kids of Instagram. I still have a few bottles left of that that I'm saving. Anyway, if, if I miss your birthday, Travis, I, I spotted you. Is it soon? Is it today? I'm writing your name down. You have to turn 36 now. And I know that sucks. That sucks. I bet a big part of you is wishing I didn't see that. So you're like, damn, I could be 35 another year. Sorry. That's just the way the universe works. You know, you can't disobey the laws of physics. Anyway, we're, we're, we're crushing that beer a little bit too quickly because it's a crushable beer. Crushing it a little bit too quickly. Um, let's real quickly, we're going to shift gears. Uh, we're going to do what I've been vaping. And I want to right now, uh, officially, in, an, in a very official capacity, that is, recognize Kitchen Guy. I... Uh, Grim Green, Nick Green, Nick Grim Green, uh, president, CEO, CFO, uh, executive producer, uh, talent, uh, creative department, social media marketing department, uh, Grim Green. I'm officially recognizing Kitchen Guy as a, a crucial part of the Grim Green Industries operation. So take it away, Kitchen Guy. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, desk guy, for finally uh, officially recognizing kitchen guy's role he here uh, at Grim Green Industries. It's, you know, I was unprepared for this. It's Thursday morning, so I'm, you know, I haven't showered. I haven't shaved or anything like that. But, you know, desk, desk guy's absolutely right. There is some stuff here in the kitchen at the end, like there's always stuff here in the kitchen at the end of the countertop. One of them, can't really even show it to you. It's a dual 18650 super secret regulated squonker. I can't tell you what it is, but I feel like it's 
some people could probably figure it out. Dual 18650 squonker. A uh, recoil Rebel RDA on top that has been uh, painted this beautiful candy blue from Ashton Palmer Palmer's powders. Ashton Palmer Palmer's powders. Uh, Steel Valley's uh, Georgie. Georgie is on the inside of that. Second vape here at the end of the kitchen countertop. It's it's the Torin. It's the Torin Mech. It's the Torin Boro. Restricted direct lung. Uh, Tribal Buddha's Sinister Cooler is on the inside. The whole time I was gone in Vegas, or Vegas, the whole time I was gone in the UK. Vegas? Really? The whole time that I was gone in the UK, and the whole time I was gone in Santa Rosa for those two weeks, this was honestly the vape that I was thinking about, like the whole time. I just wanted to come home and vape this. I like the Sinister Cooler on the inside. I like the airflow of this Torin Boro. Uh, I hope, really hope to have a review for this really very soon. Yeah, it fe feels good to just be part of the process. I'm gonna go ahead and, and throw it to Living Room Guy. All right, yeah, well, we made it out to the living room. This is where the real what I've been vaping happens, not, you know, <laughs> the stragglers or whatever odds and ends are in the kitchen at the end of the, at the kitchen table or at the end of the kitchen countertop. You know, this is where what I've been vaping really, truly happens. And I guess, you know, because you asked, I'm a little bit, look, it's whatever. I'm a little bit sore about kitchen guy. Couch guy has been the staple of what I've been vaping for years now, years and years now, this is where what I've been vaping happens. And now suddenly, suddenly we get, we have kitchen guy just for what, some odds and ends. He can't even be, he can't even be bothered enough to shave his face to make himself look presentable for camera. It's whatever. I'm a little sore about it, but that's besides the point. Here's what I've been vaping, the pocket pod. It's the Caliburn G3. You know, it's just so damn good and so damn reliable. It's just a big, boring silver battery. It looks boring when I see it. I go, you're so boring. The vape is just so undeniably good that it upsets me how boring that pod looks. Lux Q2S, Vapor Wrestle Lux Q2, not the Q2S, the Lux Q2. Still been chugging along. I've been surprised by how long this particular coil has been lasting me. We're in the middle of like torture testing and I'm not even hate vaping it yet. It still has like some pretty crispy good flavor going on. We're just gonna get all the pods out of the way at the beginning. Uh, yeah, it's the Oxva. It's the Oxva Slim SQ Pro and it's been honestly pretty rad. I haven't really spent a lot of time with the Oxva coils and coil heads. So I haven't like made up in my head what sort of letter grade they're going to get. We're still kind of in that process, but at this point, let's see how many puffs are we in. We're rounding the, the 600 puff mark on this. I, I, I'm settling into it. You know, it's, 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 it's real nice. It's real. It's pretty, I mean, I'm not, I'm tr okay. Hang on. I don't want to spoil the review. So I'll just say it's been real nice so far. Just recently did a review for this guy on top. This is the Zoo One from Vape Zoo Indonesia. It's a, uh, you know, it's just been an awesome little flavor banger. It's on the Empire right now. 0.24 50 watts. I get some really wicked good crackle from this and some just really wicked good flavor. This is that uncommon number four tobacco, freaking delicious. And you're honestly maybe never gonna guess what made it out to the couch, but it, it's the hammer of God with the Valkyrie XL. I don't know why <laughs> I've been so swept off my feet by this weird, chody little setup. It's got such big, smooth, swooshy airflow, such voluminous vapor, such good flavor for such a big RTA. Yeah, I mean, this, is, <laughs> this has been going for essentially two days now, and it hasn't even seen a dip in the battery life, like not a sliver of the graphic of the LCD screen of the battery level indicator has dropped down even a little, and I've gone through two to three refills already. This is honestly so I can compete with my wife on the couch because all she vapes is a hexome recoil combo. And I'm out here with like my pity, piddly little Oxva blowing these little baby clouds. And sometimes I feel like I have to defend myself and, and, and blow a bigger cloud than my wife. 
Anyway, that is what I've actually truly been vaping. I'm going to throw it back to Desk Guy because I know there's some Desk Warriors. Desk Warriors indeed. I saw some people in the chat asking about uh, Bathroom Guy. Bathroom Guy is not presentable. Bathroom Guy, he's like, the, he's like the Hugo that you keep in your attic and you feed him a bucket of fish heads every day. Bathroom guy can never be on camera. Bathroom guy is gross. Bathroom guy is not presentable. Uh, someone else asked about bedroom guy. No, no, we, we don't have bedroom guy. Bedroom guy, bedroom guy's on my OF. If you know how to find it, <laughs> bedroom guy's on my OF. So don't, uh, we can't, we don't bring bedroom guy into the vlog. That would, that would be craziness, craziness. Uh, but as far as desk warriors go, look, uh, someone was just asking, Armor Max has been a solid desk warrior. I actually took this with me up to Santa Rosa, I tried to beat it up a little bit. It's not IP68, so it's not like waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, but it is pretty dang durable in some parts of it. Anyway, have a full, hopefully have a full review next week. Justice for bathroom guy. Uh, additionally, one thing, I, I have been vaping this way more than I thought I would way more than I thought I would, but it's the, uh, it's the musk till dawn. It's the, it's the Aussie musk candy. It's in the Cathyla, uh, from death wish black recoil on top, red DHD. I love the way this setup looks just been dripping this musk till dawn, like a crazy person when I'm not vaping it. I'm like thinking about it. And then I pass by the kitchen and I grab one of those musk sticks candies and I just eat it. And I go, damn, like, where did this musk flavor suddenly come from? And why do I like it so much? It's like hot, sweet flowers. That's the only way I can explain it. And it's tasty. And I think that if, like, I already made my piece about this. If someone grew up with this candy, this is spot on. Spot on. Yeah, the Cathyla slaps. It's been hitting nice and hard. I really like this button and I like, I like this button for a lot of reasons and I don't want to spoil it here. I'll save it for the review, but I really like this button, this big button for a lot of reasons. It's turned me into a thummy. That's for sure. Um, you already saw 21 grams. I guess I keep most of my drippers on my desk. You already saw the boxer. That's the KB2 from Mission 15 on the inside. Rockin', rockin' restricted lung. Small, rad, pocketable, little restricted lung. Uh, love the hell out of it. And I guess lastly, the odd job inside of my Vape Smarter acrylic Boro. We got the little paw print on the back. We got a little LED on the inside. It's just cool. It's just fun. I was eyeballing and oogling all of these at uh, Vapor Expo UK. Oh, this is what I got from Vapor Expo UK too. Okay, so maybe I've opened a few things from the UK. But I couldn't resist. This is one of those things I couldn't resist. I wanted to get a Boro in here as quickly as possible. It's completely unregulated, but it's like a MOSFET unregulated. What about the clove cigarette juice? Clove cigarette juice. Did I get clove cigarette juice, Metal Morrissey? Did I? I love musk too now, Fee. I love it, and I don't know why. I think it's just because it tastes good. What's up, Big Bad Fox? I see you over there on Twitch. Forgot to turn off the, the regular Twitch chat, so it's whatever. The emotes should be going over here, though, if anybody throws an emote on the screen. That's really what I've been vaping. There's been two pods on my desk. Uh, that Caliburn, which is probably not going to get a review because it's the Caliburn GZ, it just s slightly different. This one comes with a... Uh, a little lipstick sort of cap on top, uses the same coil heads. And then this, you guys remember Sense? Remember Sense? Well, they have a pod now. Wait till you see the lights on this thing. Just wait. Oh, it gets worse. Party. You know, thankfully, one, two, three, you can turn them off completely. 
and you get one little LED indicator right underneath your button and then that's it. So I've been vaping the hell out of that because I haven't had anything from Sense and I want to put that through its paces. But that's really a lot of what I've been vaping, which means it's now time. Oh, I had a feeling the bumper was going to be too low and now it's not. Now I've corrected it. That's right, it's Assignment America time, or as we call it over here, Assignment Planet Globe. Yeah, and nobody's impressed by the lights? Come on. We could turn off all the lights, have a dance party in here. I mean, I get the appeal of it, and it's not completely stupid. One, two, three. Always turn them off, though. It's not completely stupid, but I literally always I literally always turn them off. It's vaping great though. It's it's vaping good for anybody curious. We're about mm, let's see, three days, probably 200, 300 puffs on there, give or take 300, 200 puffs on there, something. The LEDs, yeah, the LED. <laughs> it's cool until one of the LEDs dies. The thing is, there's so many of them on there, you may, may not even notice, you know. May not even notice. Okay, assignment planet globe. Okay, where did you go? First things first, uh, we got check atomizer. Where's, where's the check atomizer? Also known as V8. Where you at? V8. Uh, check atomizer writes in and says, my trusty yacht vape RTA on my Jackaroo and my little flavor banger wasp on the empire strawberry killer custard in the jackaroo and lava flow in the empire yes i love everything about this especially the lava flow lava flow is one of those like classic classic ass liquids naked has probably sold you know millions millions and millions of bottles of lava flow hang on, i got to hydrate real quick millions and millions and millions and millions of bottles of lava flow just a, a just a solid ass flavor just a tried and true reliable flavor uh, we got daniel where you at daniel love this uh daniel says hey grim this is my current lineup i got the stubby the odin mini with the pnp sub ohm the odin 75 with the doom x mesh oh <laughs> yeah the rip saw on top of the odin 200 Kylan V3 on the Odin 250C and the Stream Cave Steam Crave Maison on the Thelema 250C. I'm about to get an Empire and get my first squonk, maybe a Sith too. I love it. Your vids are great and teaching me a bit like the Grogan stream you do with Bogan and the coil build ones you do with the other guys. I love this channel. By the way, my name is now Rip in case you see some comments. Um, DW, they are good, lol. Best wishes with you and your dad. Hope he's doing okay. All the best, Daniel. Hell yeah, Daniel. Hell yeah, Rip. Hell yeah, Daniel. Appreciate you sending in what I've been vaping. These all look like banger setups. RTAs. Every time I see someone vaping RTAs, I think to myself, I want to vape more RTAs. <laughs> I want to I want to vape more RTAs. Sebastian. Sebastian didn't have an email. Sebastian had no email, but he just sent in his setups right here. I know what that is. That's a troll, right? That's the troll RDA. I think that's the troll RDA sitting on top of the Vapresso Lux. Nope. The Vapresso something. It's the Vapresso with the squishy pad on the back that I really, really liked. Can't remember the name of it. Sorry. Rocking rocking some juice head strawberry kiwi and then a smoke Novo something. Novo five? Novo four? Smock Novo something. Anyway, Sebastian, hey, appreciate you. Thank you for sending in your what I've been vaping, your assignment America. There's another one here. I think I saw him in the chat. I think I saw Zeppo in the chat. Yo, yo, I uh, don't know if this made a time for this week's vlog. I turned 38 on Wednesday, June 21st. Well, I'll tell you, it wasn't in time for this week's vlog, but it's in time for this week's vlog. Belated birthday to Zeppo. 
Uh, the day before vlog day. It would be fucking awesome to make it into Assignment Planet Globe and the birthday song. It happened just much later than you thought it would. I've been vaping on and off sig alike since 2012-ish. I'm super proud to say that in a couple of weeks, on July 1st, I will officially be one year without a cigarette, and I have no plans of ever going back. On and off uh, a pack-a-day smoker since I was 15. 22 years. Dang. Keep up the work you do. I truly believe in what you're doing. Thank you for the knowledge, laughs, entertainment, community, and support. Oh, my God. Zeppo. Thank you. Here's a couple of pictures of what I've been vaping on. Thank you and others. Cheers. Zeppo. Zeppo. Freaking Zeppo. Maybe it's Zeppo and I'm saying it wrong. Damn. I'm sorry. Target 200. There it is, Steve. You guessed it. It was the Target 200. Well done. Could not think of that for the life of me. But look, we got some hell yeah fresh batch. Hell yeah, Geek Vape. Hell yeah, Nudge. Hell yeah, Deep Cuts Dragon Shake. Hell yeah, Topside Duel. Hell yeah, Asgard. Is that an Asgard? Uh, hell yeah, dot art, dot borrow, dot something with an ether. Fuck dot mod, something with an ether. Cloud Nerds, some Saunders, some Smock, some Deep Cuts Guava Jelly. Yes. Love everything about this. Love everything about this, Zeepo. We got, got one more. Got one more here. Andrew. Let's hear from Andrew just real quickly. Andrew, <laughs> I love this. Obviously, my, uncom my uncommon delivery finally arrived today. Number one, Snickerdoodle, Snickerdoodle is officially busting. That's right. He spelled it correctly. It's busting. You have an excellent palate. I can't wait to try the others. Vaping on a Freemax Mesh Pro 2 tank with dual coils on an Odin V2 at 80 watts. Cheers from London, England, Andrew. Hell yeah, Andrew. I, I'm glad you dig in the uncommon. I'm glad you dig the number one. It's just about time for me to get out. Zepo, 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 Zepo. Oh, okay, Zepo. Okay, Zepo. Appreciate you, pimp. Uh, and thank you. Thank you to Andrew, Zepo, Sebastian, Daniel, V8, aka Check Atomizer. I really like seeing what other people are vaping. It brings me more joy to see what other people are vaping than to look at my desk and see what I'm vaping. So please send me your setups, your bangers, your tried and true. You got to have them. Banger setups. Nick at GrimGreen.com. Put your subject assignment planet globe. Chances are, you know, I'll see the attachment. They'll get downloaded and used and filed accordingly. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate everybody sending some in. That's awesome. I love it and I love seeing them. There's just no way around it. There's just no way around it. Um, here's the thing. I'm whipping through this. We're, we're, we're whipping. Whipping through this. Let's sing happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday. Let's take the Dixon off. Let's, let's sing happy birthday. It's one of my favorite Dixons. It's just too warm in here right now. It's winter time, so the heat's cranked up, which means it's hot in the house. And then it's summertime, so I crank up the AC, and then it's cold in the house. You know? I can't explain the way humans... <laughs> I can't explain the way humans work. We're just weird like that. Now... Happy birthday. Okay, so I have some happy birthdays. We're doing Zippo. Zippo's getting happy birthday even though his birthday was back in June or July. Zippo, I think we did poon sauce last time. We're doing poon sauce again. We're going to do poon sauce into the ground. We're going to do poon sauce till it hurts. Rajan Sangu, I'm pretty sure we got you last time. We're doing it again. Your birthday is on Tuesday? Legion's Lair? Legion? Legion vapes? <gasps> the Legion vapes? Huh. T. Watley, your birthday is November 13th. Is that, is that today? Oh, it was your birthday. Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. T. Watley. Watley. Tim Huatley. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You get to stay 35? Well, not, not since I saw that. Okay, I can. Do you want me to forget yours? Because then I can forget yours. <laughs> 
Thanksgiving Day. Oh, wait. Mallory's dad and Mallory's brother. Mallory's dad and Mallory's brother, who shall remain nameless. <laughs> okay, let's let's sing happy birthday. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Have as many birthdays as you want. Age all you want. You're not going to catch up to me. I'm way ahead of a lot of you. I feel like I'm way ahead of a lot of you. Unless I'm not, unless I'm way wrong, unless we're going to sing happy birthday right now. Mm, mm, mm. Bimo tree. Bimo. I'm going to call you Bimo for now. Okay. I try to sneeze at the ground with my hands back. That's the way I've tried to been sneezing lately. Just sneeze straight down at the ground. Okay. Let's all sing happy birthday. I can tell when you guys aren't singing along and... Uh, I, you know, it upsets me. It, it, it makes me feel timid. Like I don't want to sing as much if I know you guys aren't singing. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zippo. Also Poon Sauce. Also Rajan. Also Dim Lit Night. Also Scott Feel P Scott P. Also, uh, the great Seamus's wife, Sarah. Also, Travis. Also, Legion Vapes. Also, Watley. Also, Bimo. Also, Mallory's dad and brother. Happy birthday. Skip around the room, skip around the room. You know what to do, you skip around the room. You know what to do, you skip around the room. It's your birthday, man. Take a lap. Skip around the room. Happy freaking birthday. I'm a fan of birthdays. I like celebrating birthdays. If you tell me it's your birthday, I'm just going to sing happy birthday at your face uncomfortably and you can't stop me. It's just going to be a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> What's up to Scotland? That's fine. That's fine. I love that for you. Have some drinks. Have some drinks in Scotland. We should all be having some drinks right now. Now, oh, Kid Bass, moonwalking around the room. Next level, moonwalk around the room. Moonwalk around the room. You know what to do. You moonwalk around the room. That's on your second, like your first Grim Green birthday is skip around the room. Your second Grim Green birthday is moonwalk around the room. I guess the third Grim Green birthday would be hover around the room hover hover around the room hover around the room defy the laws of physics hover around the room <laughs> hover around the room hover around the room defy the laws of physics okay okay you guys uh well what i'm gonna do right now before we jump into some news is You know, this happens every week, you guys. This happens every week where at the beginning of the stream, I look at the clock and I go, holy shit, we're making great time. I have so much time. We can just chit chat and yammer on and whatever and take our time doing stuff. Don't let, don't fall for it. Don't let me do that. Don't let me do that. Let me, make me stay on things. Just snap your fingers and be like, come on, come on, Nick. Come on, Grim Green. Let's keep this... Let's keep this party going. Let's keep this party going here. Super chats. Oh, we got a sewer rug here. These super chats are always read aloud. That's boosh-tastic. They are. Hashtag yo yo tendencies. Hashtag welcome back, Grim. Hashtag thank you. It feels good. I have been looking forward to this. I've been thinking about this vlog since I was in the UK and like the title has changed a bunch of times. I had a bunch of different titles, but I'm always thinking about the vlog. I Anyway, I've said that so many times. I love it. And thank you, Sue Rug, for being here. And yes, the super chats always get read aloud. Bennett says, happy Mo Truckin' Vlog Day, all. It's been a little while. 
Been real busy getting settled in with my new gig. Looking forward to seeing this haul. Let's go. Hell yeah, Bennett. Well, good luck. Good job on your new gig. Congratulations. Get settled. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, Ray Buildable. Ray Buildable's chiming in. He says, love you, bro, and all the cool kids. Shout out to Venus Envy Girl. She's a new patron and my friend IRL. Oh, right on. Her and I are watching the vlog together. Maggots. Yeah. Well, we're shouting out Venus Envy Girl for watching the vlog with Ray. Ray Buildable. Maggots. Love that, Ray. I love it. Welcome. Yo, yo, to you, Venus Envy Girl. Barbara Burgess, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I'm super thankful for the Green family and the Vape fam. Love you all. Barbara, I love you like crazy. We're trying to think of a way to get you out here. When I was when I was up hanging out with Dad and Lon, we're trying to think of a way. How do we get Barbara out here? How do we get Barbara out here? How do we get Barbara out here? Hang out with Barbara again. Our paths will cross. Our, our paths will cross because count on it. Uh, Chinto, 13. Got a Moonshot 22 in a mystery bag at my local shop. Dude, here's the thing. That's not a bad RTA. It's a little bit involved and it's a little bit fiddly because if I remember correctly, the doesn't the deck spin in it, but it doesn't release? Wasn't that the issue with the Moonshot? There was something about the deck spinning in it. Can't quite remember. One of the coolest things I ever saw in my life was at Vape Jam UK and someone made a mod out of the Moonshot tin. That Moonshot RTA used to come in a little tin, and then someone turned that tin into a mod and then put the Moonshot on top of it. Sick. It was so dope. I thought, God, why hasn't anybody else done that? That's the coolest shit ever. Coolest shit ever. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Trap Musing, now 39 degrees C is 102 degrees, and it's not even 11 a.m. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be where you are, Trap Musing. Where are you, Australia? You're telling me it's 102 degrees in Australia right now and it's 11 a.m.? No thanks. Hard pass. Where are you, in NZ? Are you in Zed? I don't want to be there. <laughs> I don't want to be there. No, if nothing against you, Trap Musing. I don't, I don't want to be there. Cloud Chucker, hell yeah. Welcome, Cloud Chucker. Happy to see you here. That's very gracious of you. We got gutted. Gutted 6.6. 6. 6. Uh, great to meet you in uh, Brum, Nick. Hell yeah, it was good to meet you. I got to meet a lot of cool UK patrons and I'm, I'm, I forever regret not organizing like the UK patron beer hangout session. I don't know why I didn't, I, I didn't organize anything like that. In May, I think they're having another Vapor Expo UK, and we should definitely, totally, 100% organize a UK yo-yo hangout, let's meet in front of the bar and get some beers type of hangout situation. We will do that in May. We will. It was, it was awesome to meet you. Awesome to meet you. Jordy, that's very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. I appreciate you being here. Justin, Justin Randazzo for the win. Hey, hey, Justin. I hope you're doing good, man. You're one of those people I think about pretty frequently. I, I hope you I always hope you're doing good. Hope, hopefully you get to see you in the hangs again soon. Hopefully get to see you in the hangs again soon, Justin. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing kick-ass 9,000. Hope everybody's doing kick-ass 9,000. Uh, I might as well use this time to plug my Patreon. Hey, would you look at that? Right on cue. I have a Patreon. It's a humble little Patreon. It's a big group of people and they're all awesome and we hang out constantly. We do streams on a super secret Instagram every Monday, every Wednesday. We do some boosh boxes on the Wednesday. On Thursdays after the vlog, we hang out on Discord and the video chats and, and we goof off and crack jokes and uh, talk about Creed. Really, Creed comes up a lot more. We can't forget the great sandwich debate of 2020 as well. <laughs> The Great Sandwich Debate of 2020. Um, so I'll throw a link in the description. If you feel like joining up, it would be awesome. There's never any obligation. Everything I do is always free. This stream, everything on YouTube, everything on Instagram, all my social media, everything. I don't, I don't, I don't price gate any of my content. I only price gate access to myself, if that makes any sort of sense at all. It, it probably doesn't. That's okay. But it's a thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, and we yell at each other over free shit. 
That's the thing. Earn. Okay. Yeah. Earn. Earn's accurate too. It'd be like, join the Grim Green Patreon. We yell at each other over free shit. <laughs> we only yell at each other over free shit because we care, because we want it to be fair and even, you know? We want it to be fair. I'm trying to make Boosh Box is much more fair. Okay, you guys. Well, listen, here's the thing. We're round, we're just about to round the hour mark. And uh what we're going to do right now is just jump into some news and advocacy. It's about 18 minutes of news and advocacy, even though it's supposed to be 15 minutes. And then I'm probably going to jump on here afterwards and maybe for like five minutes, maybe talk about something that I found a little bit shocking within the vape community. Just a little bit shocking within the vape community. And I want to make my stance on things very perfectly clear. And I'm trying to influence you into my way of thinking at all but I am. I am trying to influence you into my way of thinking. With that said, uh, let's get on with some news. What do you have to say, professional news guy? All right, everybody, here we go. Tuck in for some 15 minutes of news and advocacy. Just want to say, I hope everybody's been enjoying the vlog so far. It's just, it's, it's the middle of the day here on Thursday when I'm doing the news. And so I don't know how the vlog's going, you know, as it is right now, but Listen, I hope it's going good. I hope uh, I hope desk guy, other desk guy, non non news desk guy, you know, ha, has all his shit together. Anyway, let's just get into some news and advocacy. The first thing I'm going to tell you is Casa. I'm not going to ever do a vlog without mentioning Casa. Everybody should be joining Casa. Everybody should be doing the Casa calls to actions, including the national tax call to action. I can't stress how important this particular call to action is. And it's not just this particular call to action. Like I would love everybody to do that. Absolutely. But there is some follow-up behind this call to action that will really drive it home. In my opinion, reaching out, you know, doing things like reaching out to your senators, reaching out to your Congress people, telling them that you are against this, telling them why you are against this nationwide vape tax. This is, I mean, this is This is right now the most pressing thing in the United States. I'm going to mention a little bit about youth vaping tonight. We're going to talk maybe a little bit about Australia in a little bit. And we're going to talk about uh, the UK and a disposable ban as well. All of that is just sort of filler news. That's what's going on in the vape space. But for me and my, you know, my selfish Americanness, I really, really only really care about this vapor tax in the United States right now. That's where 100% of my focus is. I'm hoping that's where 100% of a lot of people's focus is, but this tax cannot pass in the United States. If it does, look, if it does, we'll survive and, and we'll go on like we always have, but it's just going to prevent a lot of people who smoke cigarettes from making the transition to what we all enjoy as less harmful nicotine products. I'm more worried about them than I am about us. I'll be able to vape. I think a lot of us will still be able to vape. It might be a bit more expensive for a lot of people. My main concern is with the people who still smoke cigarettes. It still kills 480,000 Americans every year. It's, it's crazy to me. So let's join CASA. Let's try to let's try to fight this national vape tax. Uh, let me switch re- gears real quick and let's talk about some youth vaping. We got some new youth vaping numbers from the CDC's National Youth Tobacco Survey. It's only preliminary numbers. The full data set of the National Youth Tobacco Survey will be released, they say, later this year, which I still don't understand why they don't just release the full data set. It kills me that every year FDA and CDC do the same thing where they go, oh, we did the National Youth Tobacco Survey. And guess what? Youth vaping is, oh, it's an epidemic, skyrocketing even, skyrocketing. And then you get this targeted messaging and we get some like infographics that show this rise in teen vaping. And then when we get the actual data set, we go, what, wait, what, wait, where, where, where was the rise in teen vaping? You guys said there was a rise in teen vaping. We just got the data. I'd like you to point to where in the data 
that you see the rise in teen vaping. Maybe they don't give out the full data because they don't want people like picking through and seeing their little cherry picking going on. But right now we're going to read from uh, Jim McDonald here, Vaping 360. Despite claims by health agencies and tobacco control groups that flavored disposable at vapes would ignite a new epidemic of youth vaping, Fewer American students vaped in 2023 than vaped last year. The decline extended a trend in place since the 2019 youth vaping high watermark. 2019 was the peak, the pinnacle of youth vaping. And I mean, keep it in perspective though, the pinnacle, the peak, the highest of youth vaping ever pales in comparison to the highest cigarette smoking rates among youth. Uh, you know, ever recorded. So when we say pinnacle of youth vaping, it was, you know, it's like this. It's like, well, the, you know, yeah, it was a little pinnacle right there. And then it almost immediately started dropping down. These results come from the National Youth Tobacco Survey, CDC's morbidity and mortality weekly report. And again, this is just preliminary, but it was administered this year between March 9th and June 16th. A representative sample of 22,000 American middle school students, grades 6 through 8, and high school students, grade 9 through 12, completed the results, completed this, and the results will be done at the end of the year. The story of the declining youth vaping, however, will not be the narrative shared by public health agencies, as they did after last year's encouraging National Youth Tobacco Survey data, where youth vaping had a tremendous drop. No one, uh, no one at FDA, no one at CDC, no one in the mainstream media mafia talked about the tremendous drop in youth vaping, just completely ignored. The FDA and CDC will continue to cite grave concerns over flavored products targeted at youth and disposable vapes and anything that helps maintain the story of a dangerous epidemic among youth use. Vaping by middle and high school students has now declined 61.5% since its peak in 2019. Past 30-day vaping by students in grades 6 through 12 was at just 7.7%. Past 30-day vaping means any vaping in the last 30 days, even if it was just one or two puffs, they consider that past 30 day use. Well, that declined. <laughs> that declined by 63.6%. Sorry, among high school, high school has dropped 63.6%, 27.5% to just 10%. Only 10% of all high school students in the United States have tried a vape. Does that sound like an epidemic? No, it doesn't sound like an epidemic. It's never sounded like an epidemic, but that's okay. Jim McDonald makes a great point here. In 2019, many, and by many, he means news, pundits, news outlets, talking heads, health orgs. Many believe that youth vaping was a juggernaut of dangerous behavior that only draconian laws and regulations could tame. In retrospect, it may have been more like a teenage fad, more disturbing to parents and teachers than hula hoops or Tamagotchis, but similarly fueled by the mysterious elements that drive any momentary popular activity. It's worth remembering that even at its height, more than 70% of high school students never tried vaping. At the peak of the youth vaping epidemic, more than 70% of high school students nationwide had never even tried a vape. High school vaping has now fallen to its lowest rate, 10%, since 2013. And cigarette smoking, I mean, it's been eliminated. It's nearly disappeared from all youth use altogether. Nobody's smoking cigarettes anymore. So that's the good news. Jim McDonald goes on in this article to talk about disposables and youth use of disposables and how youth don't get a say in what they use. When I was a youth cigarette smoker, I didn't have a brand. <laughs> I just got whatever cigarettes I could get my hands on, whether that was cigarette butts off of the ground, cigarette butts out of the ashtrays at casinos. Sometimes drunk people would leave like half packs by slot machines that you could, you know, that you could sometimes swipe. Youths will use whatever's available to them because it's illegal. So when we see youths using disposables, they're using disposables because adults use disposables and disposables are what's available to them. They will get their hands on literally anything. 
Elf Bar was once the most popular product among youth. In 2023, Elf Bar is nowhere to be found. I'm sure CDC and FDA are going to pat themselves on the back for stopping all the Elf Bar shipments at the border. But what CDC and FDA fail to realize is that disposable companies can just slightly change their packaging, slightly change their product, change the name, and now it's and now it's back out on the illicit market. They go, oh, FDA's only looking for Elf Bars. So if Elf Bar changes their name to, this isn't a disposable, this is actually, this is actually a pod. If Elf Bar changes their name to Elven Bars and slightly change the logo and slightly change the colors and just put them out on the black market or in the illicit market, FDA isn't looking for Elven Bars or Bogan Bars, they're only looking for Elf Bars. This is, a perfect spotlight shown on FDA's whack-a-mole regulatory strategy that makes literally no sense because if you stop Elf Bars at the border, at least five to 600 other brands of disposables are making it across. By having a disposable ban, we're just making more disposables more widely available because that's how bans and illicit markets work. I managed to get off on a tangent about disposables. Anyway, so that's youth vaping. Uh, it's down, it's way down, over 60% since its peak in 2019 and, and, and its lowest point since 2013. Youth smoking is eliminated. We essentially have a smoke-free youth in the United States of America, which is pretty incredible considering all we've heard for the last few years was the gateway effect, you know, Stanton Glantz just jerking off all over the gateway effect. Oh, wow, well, you know, if a, if a person, if a nicotine naive kid picks up a vape, they're going to become a smoker. Or, or they're not because none of the data shows that. None of the surveys show that. You know, nothing. <laughs> shows that vapors are becoming smokers. It just it just doesn't exist. It's just made up fairy tale nonsense. The second thing I wanted to mention is Australia. My heart's going out hard to the people of Australia right now. Mark Butler is determined to have, I don't know, the most robust black market possibly in any country, in any country ever. Reading now from uh, news.com.au, Australia's vape laws will be the toughest in the world, says Health Minister Mark Butler. Australia's looming vaping laws will be the toughest in the world, the w toughest the world has ever seen, according to the Health Minister, with import bans on disposable vapes containing nicotine set to be introduced at the end of the month. Health Minister Mark Butler has a new scheme phased in from January 2024. We'll start a single new law to enable state police and health authorities to enforce a ban on the import of all e-cigarettes except pharmaceutical products used to quit smoking. Australia is going full prohibition. Just drug war style, everything is illegal. Every vape that you import illegal. Any liquid you import, illegal. And it's not just illegal and they go, oh, well, we're going to take that from you and, and don't do that again. It's, hey, well, that's illegal. We're going to take that from you and don't do that again. Oh, and here's a tremendous fine and possible jail time. Sorry that you wanted to quit smoking cigarettes, but we here in Australia, our health minister made it illegal to quit smoking cigarettes. We're going to put an import regulation in by the end of the year next month. The bans that that bans the import of all disposable vapes and all other vapes that don't comply with our standards, which is none. Doesn't, doesn't that sound exciting? Doesn't that sound like that's just the greatest plan I've ever heard to drive down smoking rates? Make someone who smokes cigarettes jump through a bunch of hoops in order to try to quit? What could possibly go wrong? Stopping all importing of all vapes at the border that couldn't possibly lead to an illicit market. Does Australia have like no drugs anywhere? Do they just, do they really believe that this prohibition and stopping things at the border will completely just alleviate all demand for nicotine or all demand for all drugs? As far as I know, you can still get drugs in Australia. There's an illicit drug market in Australia. They can't keep weed out of the country, but they seem to believe that they can keep 
nicotine vaping out of the country despite the overwhelming tremendous ban for the overwhelming d tremendous demand for it. Sorry, I misspoke. I am clearly not a professional newscaster. Alex Wodak had some words on Twitter. He says Australian vapors undoubtedly face difficult times ahead, but demand for vaping strong and growing. Strong demand usually prevails over attempts to restrict supply. Vapors should become politically active, join the ASACA AU, respect human right to protect, he protect health using safer options. Uh, Alex Wodak is one of the sh few shining lights in the Australian tobacco harm reduction space. He seems to be very confident that vaping will win. He says, oh, well, yeah, but this is just what they go through. They're going to go through this. They're going to try prohibition. They're going to try this. They're going to try that. All of these things are going to fail. The only thing that's going to su succeed is to, you know, sort of adopt the Swedish model. And that is regulate these and tell the truth about their relative harms. And then we can watch smoking rates just drop in Australia. So do what Alex Wodak says. Get involved. Join ASACA. I'll put a link in the description for anybody in Australia to join that organization, but dark, like it's awful, shitty, dark, cigarette smoke filled times in Australia. And it's crazy to me that Mark Butler, the health minister, is essentially encouraging smoking. He's making cigarettes easier to get and more cost effective and less illegal than cigarettes direct competitor of nicotine vaping and he thinks that this is going to help public health i mean could i be the health minister of australia i feel like i could probably do a better job okay here is the last and most obnoxious news and advocacy bit of news and advocacy that i have for you this year 2023 apologize white website i apologize it, 2024 World Health Organization was supposed to hold their Conference of Parties, COP10, in Panama this year. This is where the FCTC, the Framework of Tobacco Control, this is where parties of the World Health Organization, of that are privy to the FCTC, all come to meet, to discuss tobacco and smoking and everything else like that. This happened in 2022, and we were supposed to talk about vaping in 2022. And then in 2022 at COP9, World Health Organization basically said, no, we're not discussing vaping. We're not discussing any novel tobacco products. We're gonna kick that can down the road to 2024. We'll talk about it finally. Finally, we'll talk about it at COP10. Well, COP10, it appears, has been postponed for literally the only reason that they give is that there is a security situation in Panama. Following communication received from Panama, the host of the 10th session of the Conference of Parties and the third session of the Meeting of Parties, MOP3, their goal at this COP and MOP, which those are dumb names, at this COP and MOP, the protocol to eliminate illicit trade in tobacco products. That was the key note, whatever headline goal of this COP10 was to eliminate illicit trade in tobacco products. Anyway, A, that sounds real authoritarian. And two, really? Do we not understand how to eliminate illicit trade in tobacco products? And that is by, you know, regulating them into a well-regulated legal market, that's the only way to get rid of an illicit market. If there's an illicit market, let's say in a state that doesn't allow cannabis, I don't know, Oklahoma, I don't think they have a, a legal cannabis there. In a state like Oklahoma, there is illicit weed and they're not going to get rid of illicit weed by banning weed the only way to get rid of an illicit market is to regulate it solved we don't even need a cop 10. all we need is someone to stand up a cop 10 and go the only way to eliminate an illicit market is to regulate it but world health organization 
They want to spend millions and millions of dollars and they want to travel to Panama and they want to get everybody together so they can figure out how to stop the illicit trade of tobacco, promote cigarettes, stop snus, stop any competitors to cigarettes, stop vaping, stop heat not burn products, stop all of this that's interfering with the cigarette trade. And again, the reason that they give was that there was uh, a possible security situation in Panama, which look, I don't know what the security situation is in Panama. Maybe leaders at the World Health Organization really felt uh, not safe being there. They couldn't change the, the, the venue or the host country, you know, just too much, just too much, just too much. We might as well just postpone it, kick that can, of saving smokers' lives down the road again. They didn't even give us a date. We don't know if it's gonna be 2025, 2026, 2020, never. Maybe there's never gonna be another COP10 and they're just gonna start making all these decisions behind like really closed doors. I think that's it for this news and advocacy. I'm gonna put links to literally everything I talked about down in the description. I'm gonna throw it back to desk guy because I think he wants to talk about why he was shocked by the vape community. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, hi, ah, uh, yeah, <clears throat> mm, 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 <clears throat> sorry, just, you know, getting carried away, I'm sitting here vaping and drinking a beer and typing, and I'm like, wow, this is a fun vlog, it's like, hey, it's your vlog, oh, yeah, shit, okay, so here we are, so like I said, news guys, I'm gonna put everything, links to literally everything I talked about down in the description, and I had one last thing that I kind of wanted to mention, and it was my original intention, it was my original intention to, to just straight up shame people. I wanted to take screenshots of all of the bad takes I saw about the UK disposable, about the possible UK disposable ban, and I wanted to drag them out here, and I wanted to shame them in front of you. And then I realized, hey, that's kind of a dick thing to do, A, and two, it's not really super constructive to see bad takes. So all I'm gonna share right now are two of the best takes that I have ever seen. These are takes after my own heart. These are takes like based on how I've felt since the beginning of this YouTube. I started this YouTube in 09, 09. All that we had was really bad Chinese little atomizers that we would sometimes drip on and they were all mouth to lung and it was garbage. And you really had to love it and you really had to earn it. And it felt like we were all on the same team. Vaping exists to stop people from smoking fucking period. That's it. It's not about defending your preferred way of vaping or your preferred way of vaping. It's about stopping smoking period. And I'll tell you this, there has never been a time in the world where you've given the government an inch and they didn't just take the fucking mile. We can't relent on things like this. Even if you don't vape high nicotine, you should stand against nicotine caps. Even if you don't vape menthol cigarettes, you should stand against menthol bans. And even if you don't vape disposables, you should stand against disposable bans because the point of vaping is to stop people from smoking fucking period. I'm trying not to pound my desk, but I feel really strongly about this. Here's exhibit A. This is my first, I have three really great takes. One of them is from Clive Bates. This is a great take. Vapors, just as any ex-smoker really suffer from short memory, Ex-smokers immediately forget what it's like to smoke and be addicted to it, and vapors do the same. Banning disposables is not only stupid, but completely dismissive of all the smokers that can easily make the switch thanks to them, all because of elitism. Elitism has been running rampant in the vape space since the very beginning. The very beginning there was vape shaming going on. And I remember, around 2013, who was around in 2013? Around 2013, everybody, and I mean everybody in the vape space was using mouth to lung stuff. We had rebuildable atomizers, we had K-funds, we had cardo tanks running wild. 
Everybody was doing cardo tanks, mouth to lung, K funds, mouth to lung. And then what happened in 2013? Cloud chasing. Cloud chasing started popping up. And suddenly, vapors were worried about cloud chasing. They would say things like, oh, it's going to make us look bad. Oh, it's bad. It's a bad look for the vape space. They're going to ruin the vape industry. Cloud chasing, cloud chasing is going to ruin the vape industry. Not only did cloud chasing not ruin the vape industry, cloud chasing exploded the vape industry and more people who smoke got to quit than literally ever before. I heard the same arguments about high nicotine juice. I quit with 12 milligram. You don't need 50 milligram. That's ridiculous. By saying things like that, and by saying things like there should be a disposable ban because then maybe my products will be safe, you're saying that you're okay with people who currently smoke cigarettes not being able to quit. You're writing them off. The people that would quit with a disposable, you're saying tough shit, just go smoke cigarettes. And that makes me actually insane. This is the best take that I saw. I do not understand the gatekeepers of vaping. Sure, I want my favorite vape saved, but not at the expense of someone else's preferred vape. Plus, prohibition is a slippery slope. Concede one thing and they'll come for more. It will never stop. Give no ground. Save all the vapes. Save all the vapes. Yes. Did everybody do the poll in the chat? 39% would rather ban disposable vapes. The only correct answer to that question is none of the above. Because if the roles were reversed and you were the guy that needed 50 milligram disposables and you're like, I quit with this disposable and then some fucking cloud chaser comes up to you, knocks it out of your hand, you're gonna tell that guy he can't quit smoking because you don't approve of the way he quit smoking? Do we not realize how like Bloombergy that sounds? Clive Bates, everyone with a frothy bloodlust for banning disposable vapes should spend a little more time in the tougher corners of modern life and approach with empathy and humility. In particular, the attached testimony below of a caring son or daughter whose elderly father has dementia. This hits with me because my elderly father has Parkinson's and can't actually use his hands. If he was a cigarette smoker, I would put a disposable in front of him so quickly you wouldn't even see it happen. I'm not going to make someone who is disabled and unable to use their hands be like, hey, shouldn't you be filling up a pod? Shouldn't you be filling up a pod? I don't care if you can't use your hands. If you can't fill up a pod, you don't deserve to get to quit. Here's the testimony. I do not support a ban on disposable vapes for one reason. My 81-year-old dad smokes cigarettes. I quit smoking 13 years ago. My dad has dementia and lives with me. He still remembers that he smokes. I can't have him smoking in the house, not only because of the smell, but because of the risk of him burning everything down. I give him a vape instead. He forgets that he has it, puts it down, loses them all the time. I tried with rechargeable ones, but they cost too much and the liquid chambers break really easy when he sits on them, for example. So disposable vapes work very well for him. It's no big deal if he loses them and they very rarely break for some reason. They're made better than the recharging ones. Yep, a thousand percent. If you are in favor of banning disposable vapes to protect your specific style of vaping, then you go get to tell 81 year old dementia dad here that he can't use a disposable to quit because he's lazy, doesn't want to fill up a pod, doesn't want to rebuild something. With all due respect, you can fuck yourself with a gluten-free dildo. Vaping exists to stop people from smoking, period. Thank you. I yield my time.
<laughs> I yield my time. So I didn't mean to get so worked up there and pound on my desk, but I kind of couldn't believe some of the things I was reading. I was, I was like shell shocked. I thought, whoa, you're really willing to throw people who smoke directly under the bus because they use a vape that you don't approve of? Holy shit. I mean, I've seen selfishness before, but that's like a whole other level of, well, I quit and I need to protect this. I need to protect dripping and RDAs and flavored liquids. It's okay if they ban disposables as long as I get to keep this. That's not the vape community I wanna be a part of. That's not the vape community I, I set out to, to, to create, that I, that I wanted to foster. Vaping exists to stop people from smoking, period. Don't care what you use. Don't want any of it banned. I want people who smoke to not smoke cigarettes and I want everybody who smokes, whether you're 12 years old or 83 years old, you should get to try a vape. You should get to try to quit with a vape. Harm reduction is about meeting people where they're at, not forcing them to rebuild an RDA. That's it. Okay, I've made my peace. And nobody get mad, nobody get upset. And I said, I'm not trying to sway you to my way of thinking, but that's just reality. And if you don't like disposables, the best solution I can possibly think of is don't use them. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of unbelievable, you know? I don't like big giant trucks, hate them. Hate, hate driving around them, hate driving near them. Don't like big giant trucks that can't see me. I don't want them banned. That's a bad analogy, but I don't want them banned and I don't want anything banned. You can't trust, I mean, look, <laughs> at my core, I'm a libertarian. You cannot trust the government. You just can't. I can't, I can't, I can't trust if they go, well, we're gonna ban disposable vapes, but you'll get to keep all your vape stuff. I would go, I don't fucking believe you don't ban anything. I would never concede to that. I would never say, oh, it's okay if you take their freedom away, just leave my freedom intact. That's not how it works. If we're not both free, then what's the point? Okay, now I'm done. Okay, now I'm really done. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting so soapboxy and banging on my desk, but I've been thinking about this for like a full week now, for like one solid full week. I was just surprised. I was surprised to see people saying like, well, well some smokers just, eh, whatever. <laughs> you know, you, you don't get to quit. You don't get to switch. I, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what's that? What? You don't, okay. It's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. Okay, Um. now, did I do the super chats? Holy shit, I'm way behind. I realized the banging on my desk was too much, but I just, like, I felt it in the moment. I, it gets me so upset. It just, like, I can't, it's probably not good for my health to be this, like, at threat level midnight all the time. Can't be good. Can't be good. We, I need to chill out. Dale S. just sending me a big old banana. Fucking Dale. Thank you, Dale. Thank you for that banana. I needed that banana. Maybe I'm low on potassium. Mike D., not saying anything, you can't make me. <laughs> Not saying anything, you don't have to. I'll never make you say anything, Mike D. Hope you're enjoying the new dig. Hope you're enjoying the big brown, uh, the big brown truck. It's cool. Uh, Mr. Weiss says, just joined your Patreon finally after 12 years. Fight, fight, fight. Hell yeah, Brandon Weiss. Appreciate you. You know, it's happy. I like, you know, I don't know. That's just one of the, th I like that. I like seeing people who've been around a while and then it's like, 
you know, I've seen you in the chat a bunch, a bunch, bunch, but now that you're like part of the Patreon, now I get to know you a little bit better. Like I, I will get to know you a little bit better. You can't stop it from happening. It, it will just happen. I'll create a nickname for you. There'll be all sorts of inside jokes. It's just a thing that happens and I, I'm looking forward to it. Fuck you, tube. Uh, this sounds like the hype about coin-operated video games like Pac-Man in the 80s and how evil they were. Oh, yeah. Listen, anybody who was raised in the 80s, as myself was, we've lived through a bunch of panics, a bunch of moral panics. Um, I remember Tipper Gore talking about lyrics, you know, Twisted Sister lyrics and Judas Priest lyrics and all oh, these evil lyrics that are in these bands. And this is why we need censorship. We need to censor these artists so they can't sing about certain topics and subjects. Yeah, we lived through that panic. Tipper Gore actually gave me a lot of good music recommendations. Tipper Gore is the reason I got into Twisted Sister. <laughs> I was never into Twisted Sister before Tipper Gore started complaining about Twisted Sister. And I thought, well, I'm going to listen to that band. I'm going to listen to that band for sure. Uh, we also lived through, I mean, every, every Halloween, I thought there were going to be razor blades in my candy. Every Halloween, I thought there was going to be razor blades in my candy. Yeah, Wasp lyrics, old Blackie Lawless, just warping our young minds, Tribal Buddha. We lived through... Uh, the Satanic Panic of the 80s. Does anybody remember Satanic Panic of the 80s? There was a time where I thought for sure I was going to get kidnapped by Satanists and they were going to kill me. I lived through the Satanic Panic of the 1980s. There's been a lot of moral panics over the years that have all panned out to be nothing. Nothing. Just, just there was no Satan worshipers in the 80s, like abducting kids. There was no satanic panic of the 80s. There's never been a razor blade in a Snickers bar. But we got all worked up about it, didn't we? we well, we're like, well, yeah. We got all worked up about it in the 80s. So many moral panics. And I look at the vaping moral panic and I go, this is music lyrics all over again. This is the satanic panic all over again. This is... Someone not understanding and then getting all in a tizzy about it. You know, she's like my Meredith Berkman. She's like, I sued Pirates Booty. I'll do it again. You know, I'll go after vaping. I'll take on snack food companies. I don't care. You know, it's ridiculous. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. Um, yeah, sorry. Fact YouTube also goes on to say, I've seen how smoking laws have changed since the 70s. First, smoking areas. Second, smoking outside then wear outside, don't give any concessions. Yes, thousand percent yes. Now, if a private business wants to say, I'm sorry, you can't smoke in here, you gotta smoke outside. Okay, that's fine. But if a private business says, well, we used to allow smoking in here and we wish we still could, but the state won't let us. Nope, that's wrong. That's the part where it becomes wrong. The state doesn't get to do that. <laughs> I mean. They do do that, but they, they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't do that. If you give them an inch, look, there's a saying for a reason. It's a cliche saying, saying for a reason, but let me tell you, after being in the vape space for 14 years, coming on 15 years now, that's insane. Every time you give them inches, they take miles. Every time you give them inches, they take miles. Everybody remember the PMTAs? We were all real hopeful for the PMTAs, AVM and uh, Safada, uh, Char, uh, Char and, and, uh, and uh, uh, I can't remember the other gal's name. They helped get a bunch of manufacturers through their PMTAs. Remember that? And then, and then they just banned them all. We were like, oh, maybe this, maybe we can work with the government here. Maybe if we cross all our T's and dot all our I's and get all our ducks in a row and submit this PMTA to the government. No, it's already rejected. Okay. Already rejected. Okay. Yep. What, what, what products are legal and on the market? Oh, just a few really old products made by the biggest of the big tobacco companies. Oh, okay. Great. How'd that, how'd that conceding with the government work out for us? Zero. It worked out zero. Esquire, nothing but love for you, Grim Green. Hey, Esquire, I don't know you exactly, but hey, I got nothing for love for you. If you're here, look, I got nothing but love for you. Dave! Dave spends money to spend money, and I appreciate that. 
He spends money on a super chat to tell me that there's hella chats. <laughs> and there is one hella chat from freaking New Wave Dave. Oh, there's two. Wait, hang on. There's two hella chats from New Wave Dave. Well, he says, I went and done it, slipped my cat a tranquilizer, and dropped him at the vet to get him neutered. Unfortunately, oof, that was your first mistake. Unfortunately, he escaped before they could do the procedure and showed up here pissed. Now he's in the kitchen eating a big bowl of refried beans. <laughs> he's talking about how he's going to unleash hell on my bed tonight. That is a, that is dark. That is a really fucked up thing to do. You're just mad and you go in the kitchen, you just start eating refried beans. And Dave's like, what are you doing? He's just nothing. Just eye contact eating refried beans. You know, why are you eating those refried beans? Just nothing. Just eating refried beans. Someday I'm going to hang out with your cat. It's going to be dope. We're going to high five and listen to Slayer and eat refried beans and fucking blow up your bed. New wave, Dave. I appreciate you. New wave, Dave hanging in there with the hella chats. Holy crap. We're so far behind right now. That's okay. Jangles jangles in with the super chat. If it weren't for my cross and disposables, I'd be fucked. I'm able to fill my pod, but it's a process and a challenge. A, 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 a thousand percent jangles. One thousand percent. Someone being a cigarette smoker and also being, you know, possibly disabled and not being able to use your hands or your arms or something like that, you still deserve to get to quit smoking. Just because you can't use your hands, hi you still are worthy. You are still a human who deserves to quit smoking in literally the greatest, most effort-free way possible. Fishy, don't be sorry. I love that you are driven with all of this. Love you, bud. Well, thank you. I, I am. This is the hill I'm going to die on. <laughs> I was, uh, I don't remember who I was talking to recently. I think it was someone in the UK about uh, having a cause. And I, I'm, I'm someone that I never thought I would have like a cause, like something to defend, something to fight for like your whole life. I mean, I've never had a cause. And so now that I have this cause, like this is it, like this is my calling. This is my, this is my cause. I want literally everybody who smokes cigarettes to at least try vaping and at least have vaping be accessible to them in some variations and flavors that they like. I've seen what vaping can do and it's, it's changed my whole worldview. I mean, it's completely changed my whole worldview. Appreciate you, Fishy. Stephen Lane with a gluten-free dildo, <laughs> dildo for the win. Hell yes, brother, with you all the way. Uh, I, I very appreciate that, Stephen. I very appreciate that. You know, sometimes, I don't even remember where I first heard that. You can fuck yourself with a gluten-free dildo. I can't remember where I heard that first. I can't take credit for that. Like a lot of my bits, it's a stolen bit, but I can't give credit to the original sayer. Sayer? Creator? Because I don't know who it was. Just don't know who it was. But Slater, hydrate, sir. Love ya. Love to the chat. Hashtag you know where it goes, Slater. Appreciate you, bro. And then Steve's telling me to hydrate. Steve, hydrate. Hashtag hydro homies. All right. Are we gonna hydrate with Adam or not? I think Adam like uh, triggers some people's gag reflex, but that's okay. Let's hydrate with Adam real quick. I need a head start. Cheers. Plus, what is he drinking? It's like hazy weird. It looks like milky pee or something. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't keep using that clip. Maybe we should not keep using that clip. Ah, all right. Yeah, I feel much better. I feel more hydrated. Six o'clock. You know what time it is. It's time to get into some freaking mail and the hall. In fact, I'm going to have to be right back because I don't have a trash bag. Let me, run and, let me run and get a trash bag real quick. BRB.
Whew, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of opening, a, a lot of mail, a lot of haul. It I it just I felt like it took me I felt like it took me 20 full seconds to just pull all the boxes over. The first thing here, this is already open, and I've already been giving these away in some boosh boxes, but uh, super good. Ugh, love super good. Hooked me up with uh, all of the uncommon salts. I got a whole mess, a whole mess of all of the uncommon salts. I started getting into the number two. I started getting into the watermelon mint. Those are the only two I've really messed with. And I got some more liquids from the UK from Pixie Juice. Pixie Juice. I, I had not heard of this company before, but they make this liquid here. Can we go wide close? Yeah, we can. Pixie Juice, black currant pear, old school. Oh, that's a sorry. That's a holdover from the uh, from the build stream there. That's a it's a build build stream holdover. Sorry, that was from the vape fiddle. Vape fiddle. Black currant and pear is freaking delicious. I don't know if anybody remembers. Back in the day, maybe a few years ago, um, I vaped a liquid nonstop called Mayi from Lane Cove, Old Rue with the Lane Cove Vapor. Um, it was my, my legacy liquid, my all day, every day. I vaped it for solid two to two and a half years straight before different things happened and they switched manufacturers and then that juice became terrible and I couldn't vape it anymore and I really mourned the loss of my favorite Mayi black currant gummy liquid. That black currant pear from Fairy Juice, it's like a one-to-one -one clone. It's like a one-to-one -one clone. I have it, no, I don't have it in anything right now. I have it in another Cali burnout by the couch. But it's awesome. It's awesome and it's scratching me in my, uh, right where I itch. Okay, these, wait, 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 there's more, shit. Yeah, oh, there's more, there's more. Um, so these are already opened, but I picked these up in the UK as well. The Tycoon, is anybody hip to the Tycoon? This is a Boro that honestly looks kind of sick with it. The Tycoon, exposed battery, 21700. The front panel doesn't come off, but the front glass does like that. And I'm assuming that's to get access to fill whatever boro you have in there. Got an integrated locking nut drip tip. Yeah, locking nut integrated drip tip. It's called the Tycoon. It's regulated and the button's dead center. It's a nice little feel. I'm interested to, I'll be interested to get something in here. Is anybody hip to the Tycoon? I've never heard of this before. I, I've never heard of this before. Someone handed it to me and said, have you ever heard of this? And I said, no. <laughs> Jeremy M's vouching for the Tycoon. You heard the Tycoon is awesome. I'm hoping it's awesome. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's awesome. I'm a little weirded out by like the front just like plastic panel that comes off. I have a feeling that's going to get like smeary beyond words, but you know, I don't know who's to say really. So I got a tycoon and I also got a new, uh, precisio. Does anybody remember the old precisio RTA? Wait, why am I grabbing for a screwdriver? It was, uh, it was a mouth to lung RTA from 2020. Was it 2020? I want to say it was 2020. Mouth to lung RTA. And supposedly this Precisio GT is the bee's knees, as some people say. I don't think anybody actually says that anymore. But it does restricted direct lung. Uh, restricted direct lung, direct lung now. It's not, it's not like mouth to lung in. Oh, I got a tool. Let's see, wait, what do we get here? Precisio 
1.5, 1.2. Yep, it just does restricted direct lung and direct lung. Ultem tank. Ah, I don't know. How do we feel about this? It's got some like facets on the top, some uh, texturing at the bottom. I've heard good things about this Precisio. Ooh, okay. Well, that's confusing. I think we're going to tackle this on Tuesday. We're going to fiddle with this on Tuesday, possibly. Possibly? Possibly fiddle with this on Tuesday, on that Tuesday vape fiddle. But yeah, the Precisio GT. Uh, I'm excited about this. In fact, it's funny. I got this and the Tycoon at dinner. We were just out at dinner, and I saw these just sitting on the table, and I took them. <laughs> I mean, I asked. I said, who, who are these for? Can I have these? He's like, yeah, take them. It's like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, take them. You want to review them? Take them. Sick. Sick, Precisio. I really wanted that. I saw it and went, oh, hey, hey, I like that, Precisio. Let's see how it does. Henry Rollins? Oh, okay. I feel completely vindicated then. If Henry Rollins says bee's knees, then if it's good enough for Henry Rollins, it's good enough for old Grim Green. If it's good enough for Henry... Okay. Oh, yeah, this. Uh, that's what I already opened. Okay, hang on. This. This is, uh, this is UK Hall before we get to any mail. Come on. Come on. This is a series box. X smoker grim in that in that bright green that I love the shit out of. I think this is series series 21700s. You know, it's overkill. It's a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but I love it. Uh I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm on a big mod kick again, but I love the crap out of this. Grim X smoker shout out shout out overkill mods for the beautiful series 3d printed overkill mods i want to put this back in its protective housing until it's ready to be used but that's sick that is the bee's knees this is the bee's knees that that is the bee's knees um oh 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 this is uh Hang on, hang on. I hope there's a name on this. Please tell me there's a name in here. Serenity now. Gaz! Flat cap vapor. Ah, perfect. He says, it was a pleasure to meet you at Expo. I'm writing this pre-Expo, so I have no idea if during the weekend I actually get a chance to speak with you, which is why I've included this note. It's called the Addy Stack. It's a brand new product in the vape accessory market. It's a modular stackable storage system for tanks, drippers, and batteries. It's a 3D printed product designed and made in the UK. The solution came about after my own problem storing tanks and drippers. I wanted something that would be changeable and adaptable, not like a fixed Addy stand that can adapt to many needs. Yeah, he was showing this to me. Flat cap, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's called the Addy Stack. The Addy Stack, and I it's I have not assembled it, but he had one that was assembled. Yeah, and it's like, uh, it's totally modular in that, like, there's removable. Ha! Stormtrooper, that's so sick! Um, but there's like uh, removable parts and things and components, and you can put like poles, like little spokes in here, and put another piece on top, and you can stack them, and uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. I'm looking forward to putting this together. Addy Stack. Addy Stack from the UK. Yeah, see, there's posts. It's like, uh, you know, it's like an erector set. It's like building with Legos, except when you're done, it stores all your vape stuff. The Gaz Addy Stack. The Gaz Addy Stack. I don't know if this is how it comes uh, packaged in just Ziploc bags. Even if it does, who cares? Even if it does, who cares? Okay, let's put this back in here. Freaking Addy Stack. Like, this is coming at the perfect time because I am in dire need of storage solutions for some things in this Billy cabinet that you can't see. 
It's uh, it's kind of a nightmare in there. And by kind of a nightmare, I mean very. Let's see, uh, those are pods. This. See what's in here? You know what's in here? I almost don't want to open this because it's going to go everywhere. But when I go to the United Kingdom, I get a re-up of a liquid that doesn't exist anymore. You want to talk about legacy liquids. Glamour could easily, easily become a legacy liquid for me. It's sneaking right into that spot. Amortorium, Glamour, the Raspberry Ripple, it's a discontinued liquid, but every time I go to the UK, I get the hookup. I get the hookup of a couple of bottles of Amortorium Raspberry Ripple. And by a couple, I mean eight. I think there's eight bottles in here. Oh no, there's four for me. And then we have, I'm gonna forward this on to Tim. Here you go, Tim, advocate for liberty. This is for you. This is the Glamour Mix. It looks like he threw some other things in here. Oh, shit. Vanilla Fudge? What's the other one? Glamour and a Beignet Donut? All right. Well, shit. I should have opened this earlier, Tim, so I could send this to you, but I didn't. So I'm sorry, Tim. I apologize. I will send this to you as soon as I possibly can. Because Glamour, because Raspberry Ripple... Because holy crap, it's good. Because, <gasps> yep, I got a do another dope little Boro uh, from Overkill. I mean, come on, that's cool as shit. Let's go to the wide close. Pow. Mechanical, 3D printed. Those look like silver coated contacts to me. Big exposed battery. I'm going to need like a pink battery wrap now. Oh, wait, maybe I can put like a full white battery in there. Uh, yeah, you can't, doesn't really work very well. Is this, oh, this is an 18650. This is an 818650, I believe. Maybe not? No, it's a 20, this is a 20, 2700, 20700? Oh yeah, okay, 2700. 2700, that's a Deadpool wrap. So that's how much the battery is gonna stick out. Hand feel, solid, mechanical button on the bottom, solid, silver contacts, locking nut, 3D printed Mac Boro. Like how on earth are, are federal governments going to ban vape products when we can all 3D print Mac Boros? Like this is an unlimited, like I, 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 there's people in the Patreon who have 3D printers, we will always be able to have 3D printed Mac Boros. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that the government can do to regulate this out of existence. All we need is contacts and a battery, you know, contacts, battery, maybe some wire shit. That's vaping, man. That's vaping. That honestly looks sick. I really like the finish of this 3D printing. It's nice. Can I get super uppy closey with it? Can I show you the real, like the texture texture? Maybe. Apparently not. That's fine. Oh, that's right. Because dangle clacks. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. And then. Ha! Pow. Texture texture. It's like very, you can see like the layers on it when you get really this close. How close can we get? Yeah, you can see the layers of printing. But man, with the naked eye, I, I can't see any of that. I can barely feel it. I can barely feel that. They can regulate 3D printers. I mean, I guess they could regulate 3D printers. I mean, the darkest version of the timeline would be someone really authoritarian like uh, Nikki Hawley getting elected and then making everybody register their 3D printers with the federal government and, you know, attach the 3D printer to your 
social ID card, you know, your, your driver's license, your social ID card, and then anything you print, you would have to get approved from the federal government or some sort of like state local agency. I'm assuming they won't be like that meticulous about it because it is the federal government. So it'll probably be more like you have to keep track of everything you've printed on your 3D printer and then like send a report. That's how they could regulate 3D printers. They're never going to be able to say, buy this 3D printer. You just don't, don't print anything you're not supposed to. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And then we got uh, a whole mess of liquids. In fact, let's just do a lineup of liquids that we got here. Pow! I don't know what that is. Bay Biscay. Bay Biscay. No idea. And Bay Noir. No idea. And Legion X Ro Rosius Custard. Is this the rhubarb custard? Strawberry rhubarb custard. Yeah, I tasted this there. It's really good. Strawberry rhubarb custard. We got, uh, okay, holy shit. There's a, uh, we ran across a liquid company from South Korea that makes these wacky ass bottles. They are delicious. This hazelnut boom, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Blew me away. Blew me away. A way hypermix hazelnut boom blew me away, and then they sent me home with uh Jaws Kin Do hypermix Jaws Kin Do. Awesome, these were these flavors were really good. Bogan and I we just randomly walked up because I saw these crazy graphics, and I randomly walked up and I was like, hey, Let's taste some juice, let's taste these. I've never had an e-liquid from Korea before. That's awesome. And they work so good. So good. Like crazy good. Okay, here's the real question mark. Shy Tots Deviant. Shrek Vape Reviews. Who was there? Shout out to you, Shrek. This is his liquid. He said, it's amazing. I said, I will take a bottle home and I will vape it. And I will try it. But I want to say, I personally have not had a whole hell of a lot of success with Shy Tots e-liquid. Just haven't. I've tried three of them now and have not gone on to vape any more of them and immediately stopped vaping them after I tried them. The, the, the Pernacious, and I don't need to bring it up, but I'm not trying to drag uh, Tenacious TX vapes through the mud. I wish Stan all the best. I miss his face. I wish he was around some more. I understand why he's not, but I still miss him. Be Pernacious was a Shy Tots liquid that I, the first time I vaped it, I thought I was being practically joked. It was, I mean, more so than like, Musk Till Dawn. Musk Till Dawn, if you're not familiar with the flavor, almost feels like a practical joke. But man, Shy Tots felt like a practical joke. It felt like a practical joke. Uh, we got uh, something coffee as well from Hypermix, which, come on, Hypermix? That's a great name for a liquid line. We got uh, Raptors Raspberry Ripple from Dino Sauce. They were there in the, uh, the the Ohm Zone area, so I wanted to pick up some dino sauce. We got Kingston Canteen. Sourdough French Butter Marmalade. Sourdough French Butter French what? What did I just say? What the fuck did you just say, Colin? Sourdough French Butter Marmalade. Sourdough French Butter Marmalade? I, listen... I don't want to ruin what you've heard about shy tots because liquid is the most subjective thing in the history of subjective things. There's been liquids that I have loved into the ground that the world at large really hates. There have been liquids that the world at large really loves and I just hate into the ground. It just depends on your taste buds. It just like the, the device it's in, the temperature it's at, the coils you're using, you know, whether it's mesh or a coil 
or aliens or you're dripping or it's a tank, like all these are gonna slightly very change your experience with a liquid. So it's like, I don't, if, if I say I really love something, you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt because taste is just so subjective, you know? It's so, so subjective. Um, and these, the rest, all that's in here is uh, pods from the new SX pod system that I have yet to like open up and set up, but I tried it, the PX cartridges from SX Mini at the Vape Expo, and they have this zero burnt hit technology. They use temperature control to give you zero burnt hits, and it was uh, uh, like mind blowing. I put a dry pod in a battery. He's like, hit it. I said, no. It's like, just hit it. Battery's on, dropped a dry pod in, take a hit, nothing. The pod didn't fire. It's like, nope, there's no liquid there. What are you crazy? Why are you trying to hit this? As soon as we filled up the cartridge and it got saturated, I took a couple hits. It was just vaping like normal. I picked up another one that was like on the verge of being empty, just, you know, where it's like one dollop of liquid in the bottom, tried to take a toot. It was like, nope. There's not enough liquid there to fire this. I was really impressed, really, really impressed because there's plenty of times where I'm just vaping away on a pod, vaping away, and you can't see like the liquid level of this Cali burn really well, and I'll just vape it dry, just vape it too far. So uh, needless to say, I'm excited about these PXSX pods. And then the last bottle of liquid I got uh, mango, I can't pronounce this name. Aromixy, Aromixy, Aromixy's mango. Has anybody ever hipped, hip to Aromixy? Aromixy mayo. Yeah, Legion Vapes is calling the Pure Max the pot of the year. I, I, I have to, I'm going to set mine up. I'm going to set mine up hopefully tomorrow, but it's because my dog Murphy ate all my packaging. So all I'm left with is a battery, a pod, and an instruction manual. And I've been, I taped it all together because <laughs> I'm going to try to set it up tomorrow. Robert, what's up, Robert? Thanks for joining us. So this is the liquid haul from the UK. Great. I mean, in the meantime, I'm going to put this all back in a, in a box or in a bag. I don't know. Let's see, this is 100 mils, so I would need two shots in this. I want to vape this one. Where did I put it? The Hazelnut Boom. Yeah, Hazelnut Boom. I might set this up later tonight. It's, uh, it's, it's like next level good. South Korea, man. They're, they're killing the liquid game. And then the Shy Tots, you know? And then the Shy Tots. I've had... The, the strawberry cheesecake from Shy Tots. I, I listen, I'm not gonna sit here and just talk shit on Shy Tots. I wanna try their liquids objectively and I will come at that liquid with the same objectivity that I come at every other liquid and I'm not gonna hold my past experiences against Shy Tots. This is Coils. Coils by Scott. You guys know Coils by Scott? Whoops. You guys know this guy, Coils by Scott? Hell of a guy, hell of a nice guy. I love seeing this guy, I love hanging out with this dude. He makes sick coils, very specific coils, four core Boro aliens, you know, uh, zero, these 40, 045s. He makes specific coils. His Claptons are sick, his Fralians are sick. I like Scott, I like his branding. I was hoping he would send me home with a little baggie of coils. Hashtag coils by Scott. Is there a room up here? Should I just put it right here? No, that'd be terrible. But yeah, hell yeah, coils by Scott. Hell yeah. Okay, that's a package. That's a package. That's in there. Oh man, okay. We're getting into mail now, of which there is just a bunch of it. Hope everybody was planning on going late. I hope everybody has a good vape, a good uh, beverage, something to keep them company. My anger, a anger is gone. Gone. <gasps> what is this? Wait, 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 hang on. This is something from Beecher Howard. This is something from Coil Turd. 
Yeah, dude, Temp Control SX Pods. And I can't wait to review this thing. There's nothing that you that you have to do. There's nothing that you have to do. You just vape it like a normal pod. The only warning that they give you is to not drop in a pod that's warm. So don't like vape, vape, vape your pod, pull it out to look and then drop it back down. Cause when you drop it back down, it's gonna take that temperature reading. So they say, make sure that your pod is cooled off if you take it out and put it back in. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. What did I get from Beecher? He says, yo, yo. Oh, oh, coils. Wait, hang on. Coils? Coil turd sent me coils? I keep showing my desktop for some reason. Coil turd sent me like Boro aliens, single coil aliens. Yeah, single aliens, 0.35, two and a half millimeters. So that's like for Boros. You know, I love watching uh, the the builders and the whole vape industry just pivot to boros. It's like the the coil builders went from doing Fralians and Alien V2s to doing like mech boro sized. And I love that. I love specialized coils for things. Oh, thanks, Beach. Fucking cool dude. He's a good dude. He's been in Indonesia. Fucking Beecher. What a good dude. This is, but wait, there's more. What does that sound like? Shrek vape was just talking about me. Is Shrek vape talking shit? Just woke up getting off to work. Oh, Shrek vape. Shrek vape, bro. Deviant is my collaboration with Shy Tots, 13 different strawberries and dark fruits. I, look, I said, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to trying it. I have a little bit of a bias about Shy Tots, but needless to say, needless to say, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you have a good day at work, Shrek. I wish you could hang out. I wish you could hang out all day, all night. Oh, shit. Oxva, Oxva, Oxva. I got some Oxva. Oh, I have this already set up. I took, I grabbed one in the UK. I tried to tell him in the UK, but that's okay. I was in the UK and I was talking to the Oxva people and I said, yeah, you know, a lot of my subscribers, they really want me to review some Oxva stuff. And I said, I think I'm getting some in the mail. I said, I think I, think I arranged it with Oxva in China to get some in the mail. I think they're on their way. And she's like, oh, take some now, take some now. I said, no, no, it's, I know it's coming. I know it's coming in the mail. I shouldn't have said, I think it's coming. I should have said, I know it's coming in the mail. She's like, no, no, take this, take this now, take this now. So I came home with the same stuff that I literally just got in the mail. And that's okay because I have a Patreon and Patreons need boosh boxes and the Slim Pro, the Oxva Slim Pro is a uh, very, very solid pod. Very solid pod choice. Some might even, some might even say hella. I don't know if I would say hella. I would say hella. Yeah, it's hella. It's a hella good pod. See, I knew we were going to run out of time tonight. I just had a feeling. Just had a feeling. I just had a feeler. Oh, oh yeah. And then. <laughs> and then I got four more Pure Max pods from SX. Four more Pure Max pods. Really, I only need one to review. So, you know, I have a Patreon and Patreons need boosh boxes. Damn, this is kind of a score. Four Pure Max pods and a shit ton of cartridges. Okay, I can't see exactly how many cartridges. One, two, three, four, five, six cartridges. Thank you, SX. Thank you, SX. I'm really looking forward to that pod. Dakota, what up, Dakota? How's it going? We're in the middle of vape mail at the moment. I always like look at them and like try to figure, like why do I do that? Why not just open it? It's weird, it's a weird move, Nick. The 
Did that do it? Kind of. If this is like an SX... Okay, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, uh, yeah. I need to send this to Phil Basardo. <laughs> this was this was a weird thing. Is Inakin hit me up and was like, "Hey, we sent you something." I don't even know if I'm supposed to show this. I don't want to get in trouble, Inakin. Easy tube. It's not anything like revolutionary. I'm assuming it's a mouth to lung Z coil compatible 40 watt tube, adjustable wattage OLED indicator type of device. Uh, but Inakin hit me up and was like, "Hey." When when the when that arrives, will you send it to Phil? Phil Basardo? Said yeah, sure. That's weird. It's a weird request, Inakin. That's a weird request, Inakin, but yeah, sure, I'll send it along. Send some love to Phil Basardo. Hey, Phil. Appreciate you, bro. Phil Basardo. Haven't talked to Phil Basardo in a while. I was hoping to see him in the UK. I understand he has some family things going on. I just want to give some love to Phil Basardo. Tell Phil Basardo if you see him. We're sending him some love. The whole Grim Army sending Phil Basardo some love. From Vlog Day to Phil Basardo. From Vlog Day to Phil Basardo. Ooh. You know what this is? You know what this is? <laughs> this I'm excited about. Woo! We might actually finally review this thing. We might actually finally review this thing. I don't know if Kent will get mad if I show the packaging. We got a Narda. We got a Narda from Twisted Messes. It's his new RDA. We got a Narda from Twisted Messes. It's his new RDA. What's that? What is that? What's in there? Spoiler free, but what is that? Looks like airflow. We got a Narda. Uh, I've been using a Narda for all year. And this is finally the production version. Oh, good. Squonk pin. All right. All right, Narda. Hell yeah, Narda. Narda. Kent has a new project coming out. It's an RDA. And if you know Kent Twisted Messes, if you know Kent, you know he's he's serious, meticulous even, about airflow and fit and finish and camphering and O-rings. Like he has gone over this with a fine tooth comb, considering that I got one this summer. I got one in like June <laughs> and I've been using it all year and I'm still just waiting for him to tell me to do the review. He's like, it's not done yet. 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 We were having issues with this. We were having issues with this. I wanted to make sure this, I wanted to make sure this, we had to do a final thing on this. I wanted to make sure this Kent, Kent cares. Kent gives a shit. And, uh, the Narda, you know what it stands for, don't you? Not just another RDA. This is the Narda. This is not just another RDA. This is the Narda. And I'm excited. I'm excited about that. I should put a series build in there. No, okay. <laughs> we, we won't do that. That's fine. Holy shit. Oh. Oh my God. This. Oh. Okay, I know what's in here. Is Kent here? <gasps> Twisted messes. Kent, don't get mad at me. I just showed your Narda a little bit, just the packaging. I didn't show the whole thing. I just showed the packaging. I just showed the packaging. I was just singing your praises. I was talking about how hard you work and how meticulous you are about every little facet of this RDA has been gone over with a fine tooth comb. Hell yeah, Twisted Messes. Hell yeah. This is from Omboyak. This is from Omboy OC. Hey now. Hey now. 
Pow. We got, oh, he sent along a bunch of baked, a bunch of baked pistachio. <gasps> 12 milligram. 12 milligram. 12 milligram. Baked. 12 milligram. And then mango, 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 and then baked, and then mango, and then baked, and then mango, and then mango, and then mango. All my wife vapes is own boy mango. So we were uh, a little overdue for a re-up, but 12 milligram pistachio, hell yeah. Now the real question is, yeah. Uh, let's open a disposable fam. White berry sounds delightful. White berry sounds delightful. This is, the, this, is, this is the only disposable I may ever actually do a review for, and it's not even going to be a review for the disposable. This is going to be more of a social commentary on regulations because once upon a time, we had big things like RTAs, RDAs, freebase liquids, big devices, and then FDA cleared the market of those products, denied tens of thousands of applications and basically cleared the market of everything that we used to use. And so what the FDA's regulations have brought us under the guise of protecting the kids is now I can buy the tiniest, highest nicotine, most concealable little disposables that have ever existed that honestly would never have existed had FDA just regulated properly. But they wanted to drum up support for a youth vaping epidemic and clear the market of products. And that's how we get things like this. Just the tiniest little discreet, palmable, hideable, 50 milligram disposable. This is the direct result of bad regulation. The, the, the direct result of bad regulation. Let's try some white berry. Yep, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's five, it's 50. It's five zero, that's five zero milligram. It's too much for old Nick. But yeah, the white berry is effing delicious beyond words. It reminds me of the old white gummy bear from that company that I can't remember. They made some really good loot. I want to say it was Brewwell. They made a white gummy that I vaped the shit out of, and this tastes like that white gummy. Palmable, hideable, disposable. Thanks, FDA. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate you innovating vaping forward like that. We were all satisfied with the vapes we were vaping, but you're like, no, they need to be smaller, easier to hide, and higher nicotine. <laughs> this is what happens when you ban flavors and disposables. You get more disposables. More disposables. The only way to take down an illicit market is to regulate it. Yeah, 50, that's too much. That's too much. But not in a pinch. There's been times where I've used disposables in a pinch all the time. Yeah, that white gear, that white berry. Good shit, Ghost Bar. Damn, thanks, own boy. Thanks, own boy OC. That just happens to be a damn hell ass good vape disposable, too. Ugh. This, still a few more packages to go through. Still. If these were uh, 10 milligram disposables or even 20 milligram disposables, I would be much more inclined to use them. As it stands, and maybe, was this a prank? All right. As it stands, and I think I'm in the minority here. I prefer, I prefer the way a pod vapes. 
I prefer the way a pod vapes to a disposable. I, I like the resistance better. I like the flavor better. I like the crispiness better. I will grab a, I will grab a Cali burn all day long over a disposable simply because I don't like disposable airflow. I just don't like it. It's too wispy. It's too wispy and I, but this, God, that's good. God, that's good. I prefer pods and Cali burns legitimately to disposables. A, disposables are generally too high in nicotine for me. And two, it's the airflow. It's the airflow on disposables. I don't like that from the bottom airflow. They all have airflow on the bottom. And I don't like it. I just don't like it. But I don't want them banned. I want anybody who wants to try a disposable to be able to try a disposable. Now, Vupu. What is happening here, Vupu? All right, gifts from Vupu. You love to see it. The Drag 2S. The Drag S2 and the Drag X2. Without even knowing what these are, I can predict exactly what they are. The Drag X2, I'm not even looking. This one is going to use an 18650. This one is not. That's going to be the big difference. This one might go slightly higher wattage than this one, but this is uses an 18650 and this doesn't. Yep. Drag 2 uses one X 18650. The Drag S2 is a 2500 mah built in basically like a giant disposable. Basically like a giant disposable that you refill. So it's not like a giant disposable, but it is because of the batteries. Everything's really dirty. So I don't know exactly what's going on there, but there's also this. No, what, what did I just do? Zip this up? It's a lanyard. And a thank you. Well, oh, thank you from Vupu. Very informal. <laughs> Dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. We would like to express our utmost gratitude for your invaluable support and our expectation of continued cooperation for even more success in the future. Vupu's brand and product influence has rapidly developed since its establishment, which is widely recognized. The products and services have been covered by more than 70 countries and regions, have been by favored by more than 50 million vapors. As a Chinese saying goes, one tree does not make a forest. We deeply realize and always bear in mind that we would not have achieved success without your business and support. About time, Vupu. About time giving Grim Green, <laughs> Grim Green some proper credit here. Hey, cool, Vupu. Cool. I don't, I've don't. i never met you, Vupu, but this is just uh, an instruction manual as well. Is this the same thing in here? What are you? Oh, no. Oh, you're a, you're a, are you a little fan? Do you take batteries? Can I turn you on? Is this warm in here? Nope, I thought it would turn on like a vape. Feels like there's no batteries in here. Feels like there's no batteries in here. Maybe there is. Maybe it just needs to charge. Put it on the charger. USB-C. Eventually. Oh, no. Oh, it's a micro USB? All right. Well, thanks, Vupu. I wish I could turn this on. I'm hot and sweaty. It would be nice to have a little tiny fan. Oh, well. At least I got a cool like uh, miniature luggage little miniature luggage maybe I can use this for traveling with my vape gear maybe that could be a thing I'm trying to we're trying to purge like products and things out of our house 
<laughs> so I'm going to have a hard time hanging on to the broken uh, the broken fan there, Voopoo. But look, we got some new drags, and that's a thing. Let's do... Oh, man, there's more. There's a few more. I was mistaken. It's a laser. It's a laser. Again? How does that happen twice? What? Fascinating. This is fascinating. Would you look at this pod? Do you see the name on it? First of all, Joytech. Joytech. Joy. I was looking for a pull tab. You know, I was. I thought the same thing, Steve. Now we're back at the fan. Okay. It feels like there's something rattling around in there. I think this fan is dead. I think this fan is dead on arrival. Yeah, it's... I don't think it's supposed to be making those sounds. So, sorry, Vupu fan. Sorry, Vupu fan. Okay, let's... Hang on, we need to look at this. This is a new pod from Joytech. And it's called the Widewick. What? What is this, the Widewick? Well, the pods have these super wide wicks in them, and I think they're trying to make this. I know, Metal Morsey, I know, Joy Tech. Joy Tech? Was this a retro vape? I think they're trying to make this vape more like a disposable with those big wicks in there. All right, surely we can get some, uh, surely we can get some deep cuts in here real quick, right? I just wanna fill this up and see what it vapes like. I haven't had anything from Joy Tech in ages. Crack to fill, you love to see it. You know, here, let me take this, let's flip it around. It's got my, doesn't matter. So I feel like I'm going to have to fill this up. Let it soak up into those wide wicks. And then maybe top it off again. I genuinely think they're trying to make this vape more like a disposable because disposables don't have reservoirs where you can just fill liquid. It's all, yeah, cardo pod. It's all material. It's all like polyfill in there. It's all polyfill foam in there. It spits and slurps. Great taste, though. The wide wick. All right, hang on. We're going to let this marinate for a second. We got some guava jelly in there. We're going to let that marinate for a second. Can't lose those. Okay. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Cut my desk. Great. Oh, I think I cut something important in here. No? Yeah. All right. Oh, battery wraps. I got some BB brand battery wraps. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Skadoosh. Just a bunch of battery wraps. Shout out to BB. These look like, I couldn't even tell you, water, ocean, blueness. Do I have one I can, do I have a silver battery I can stick in here? No. Nope. I have to rewrap a battery to get it in there. Yeah, it looks like, I don't even know what that is supposed to look like. Blue abstractions. It looks like a Rorschach test. Rorschach test. 
It's got amazing taste. I was really cheering for it. I was truly hoping they had a good thing with that one. Really? And it's not... Okay, well, we're going to get there in a second. I want to let that... You think it's soaked in enough? You think it's soaked in enough? You think it's soaked in enough? Thank you. BB Vapes brand. Battery wraps. 18650, 21700. They call these toxic anodized. The toxic anodized wraps. Those are pretty sick. We're going to put those on some batteries. I'm going to have to keep them in with my battery wraps. But wait, there's still two more gigantic packages. Still two more gigantic packages. How's everybody doing? You hanging in there? Everybody hanging in there okay? Good. I'm happy to see it. Happy to hear it. We're going to keep going. We might not get to retro vape tonight, and that bums me out. And we're probably not going to be able to do a band review tonight, and that bums me out. But the next vlog will definitely have a band review. Or maybe we can squeak in a band review. Holy shit. I mean, this is like holy, holy shit. Sorry, that's one I didn't want to happen. What company is this? I got a smashed snapback. Oh, shit. Frank and Atticus. Frank and Atticus. Pow. Pow. Frank and Tones. Oh, God. We got some more Shakedown. We got some more Yanana. Get out of here, Shakedown Yanana. We got some uh, Frank and Atticus Passion Fruit Pineapple. Mandarin Lime. I love Frank and Atticus liquids. I haven't had a clunker. Lychee Watermelon Pear Peach. Holy shit. And there's more. There's this whole other Fuji line that's like Frank and Atticus, Fuji Apple Strawberry, Fuji Apple Banana, Fuji Apple Grape, Fuji Apple Lime, Fuji Apple Lime, Fuji Apple Nectarine, Fuji Apple Cherry, Fuji Apple Cherry? Get out of here. Does it come with a Nick shot or is that Nick salt? I can't tell if this is a Nick shot or Nick salt. I think it's Nick salt. Apple cherry. Fuji apple cherry. Okay. Well, this is going to shake up the liquid tasting a little bit because the Fuji apple cherry might be a fast tracked. There's also a Fuji apple banana, Fuji apple grape. Thank you, Frank and freaking Atticus. My favorite thing about Frank and Atticus liquids is they're Australian, you know? So it feels like an, an extra big middle finger to Mark Butler, you know? The fact that I just got a bunch of e-liquid imported from Australia is kind of just the biggest middle fingers to Mark Butler. Just the biggest. What? Frankentone's coffee mug? Frankentone's coffee mug! And a Frank, okay, this was the Franken Atticus one. That's pretty cool. Like, that's kind of cool, but the Frankentone's is the one I really like. Just because uh, I know Breeze Tones, I know that guy. I know that guy. Hell yeah, Frank and Atticus. Holy shit. Like, literally all of these sound good. Grape kiwi? Strawberry and blackberry. Dang. Dang, Fuji. Dang. 
Dang, Frank and Atticus. Fuji Cherry is staying up there. Fuji Apple Cherry is staying up there. And now we got some... Uh, <laughs> Breeze Tones. <laughs> What's up, Juan? How you doing? I didn't see you before. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. And then the last package. The last package... This has been a pretty solid ass mail like haul. This is a lot. This is a lot of stuff. And all I can think about is how far behind in reviews I am and how little space I have in my office to store all this. I'm focusing on the wrong things, man. Here's the last package. And it comes from the one and only meat of the face. We call him face meat, you know? That's what we call him. This, this hat's too tight for my gigantic head. So there we go. There we go. Haven't worn a backwards hat in a few years. Face meat. God, it's hard to not love getting a package from face meat. If I don't stab myself. All right, let's see what's going on here, face meat. Whoa, mama. Whoa, whoa. Is this the Japan package? Holy shit. Hang on. Hang on now. Yep. Use the camera feature on Google Translate to see what I've written. Oh, he wrote me. Okay, hang on. I don't know if I can do that right now. My phone's not accessible. Hang on. What? Oh, face meat. Oh, I love me some face meat. He went to Japan and brought me back treats from Japan. An orange chocolate Kit Kat. Orange chocolate Kit Kat. That's fucking rad. Holy shit. Candies, chocolates. What are you? Mystery Kit Kat? I don't even know. And then look at this. This chapstick, this chapstick smells like RY4. This chapstick smells like RY4. I want to smell this RY4 chapstick. Holy shit. It's <laughs> what? What? That is so ridiculous. It's a graham cracker. You see this? Graham cracker chapstick? Face meat. I think face meat got me the Cheetos chapstick as well. And now we got graham cracker chapstick. <laughs> Have you had those Kit Kats before, Tribal Buddha? Have you had the chocolate? Have you had the chocolate? I should taste it right now, right? Here, let me mute myself and let me have one of these. I'll go I'll go uh, give one to my wife as well. I'll break her off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Okay, hang on. Let me mute myself so nobody hears any chewing. Those are damn good face meat. That really good. Really good. Casey was very into it. Very appreciative. She said, uh, tell face meat I'm thankful he graduated from dry oatmeal. So I'm thankful as well that you graduated from dry oatmeal. Okay, wait. I have to Google Translate. 
this. Um, let's see. Well, I'm going to try my translate app first. No, nope, we're going for, oh my gosh. Japanese to English. <laughs> what do you think it says? What, what, do you, what do you think that says? You're wrong. It says dry oatmeal. <laughs> I knew that was, I knew that. I kind of had a feeling. Yeah, it says dry oatmeal, meat of the face. And then the bottom says Japanese culture horibo, horobo. Thank you, face meat. Thank you. That's awesome. Like I'm incredibly moved by that, that you went to Japan and you're like, eh, let's send a few things to old Grimm. That means a lot. I appreciate that. Graham cracker chapstick. It honestly smells like 21 grams a little bit. It honestly smells like 21 grams. That smells like Nog Champa for sure. Oh, what are you? What are you? <laughs> Cherry is hard to do, right? Mr. Free. I've never had a good cherry. That's not true. I've had one good cherry from Vogan. The Ducks Nuts was a pretty good cherry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we got here? What is this? Get out of here. What are you doing? Whoa. Potteries are absorbent. This is another incense holder. This means I can make, this means I can have multiple incenses going at the same time. That's sick. That's just sick. That's a cool little Japanese guy. I'm going to put this right next to the frog. I've, I modified a few incense sticks. I broke them off and then I taped them together at the bottom so that it was only one incense stick, but it was really three incense sticks taped to one incense stick. And this poor frog is holding all the, holding these three incense sticks up. It's like, all right, well maybe we can uh, give the pod, give the frog a little rest. Maybe we can give the frog a little rest. Okay, I'm gonna keep that forever. Sick. Face me, you got, you're too nice. You guys are too nice to me. You guys are too kind, just really too kind. The, the frog has a plate. The frog has a home. This is going next to the frog. This just means multiple incense. You know, multiple incense. Listen, here's the thing. Tribal Buddha, you can't say that this isn't a sake bowl. It's, it's just a bowl. I can use it for whatever I want. I could put yogurt in here and just yogurt and then incense. I could have a yogurt incense. I could have an incense burning while I eat yogurt out of the tray and then eat up the incense ashes while, <laughs> while I'm eating in. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea. Um, face meat, I love that you picked up some Japanese, you know, text, some Japanese characters. I feel like we need to put dry oatmeal in Japanese on a t-shirt now for some reason, because it's like the most inside joke that nobody would ever get. Like, why does it say, uh, dry oatmeal in Japanese on your t-shirt. Be like, oh, you don't know face meat? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? We, we all know face meat. What do you mean you don't know face meat? That's weird. That's super weird. Okay, wait, there's, this is, this is something substantial. This is something substantial. I would love to go to Japan. In fact, Sifu, here's, here's my pitch. 20, 26 yo yo tokyo meetup we'll all fly to japan as a big group trip together and we'll go to japan how fun does that sound like a thousand percent 
I think this is uh, pickles. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the pickles. Give it a bit. A bit. A bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rut row. Face meat. Rut row. He's really testing me here. Really testing me here. I'm not going to start fucking with these tonight. Habanero Kool-Aid Pickles. Habanero Kool-Aid Pickles. That sounds spicy. Is this going to be spicy? Is this going to be super spicy for me? Is this too spicy? This is going to be too spicy. I'll start saying now. Yeah, I'll say yes right now. I'll say yes to a Yo-Yo 2025 Japan trip. I will say yes. We got to start saving up cash. We'll, we'll all get tickets to Japan. We could spend like a week in Japan. <laughs> it would be so sick. We could go to the Sega land, you know, the Sega, the big giant Sega arcade that they have with, with, that has like roller coasters in it. Kool-Aid pickles. I love me some Kool-Aid pickles. I've never had no habanero Kool-Aid pickles, but you know what? Face meat's just the kind of guy who's going to, you know, open your mind, expand your mind to new experiences, you know, to, to new experiences. Uh, before, <laughs> yes, artificial dyes. <laughs> That's funny. Come on. Okay, I don't have my camera. Look at this. Yes, yes. Artificial dyes, no artificial dyes. Yes, artificial dyes. And I would just want to say, I love the uh, font. I love that you, like you you made Habanero a logo, like it's a band. Like Habanero just released their album Kool Aid Pickles, and this is what the album cover would look like. <laughs> Good old Habanero Kool Aid Pickles. Shit, yeah, dude. What a great mail. What a great ass mail time. That was fun as hell. We got some new Vupu stuff. We got a whole crap ton of Frank and Atticus stuff. We got some SX pods. We had Raspberry Ripple from the UK. We got pickles. We got cups. We got Japanese orange candy. We got a Narda RDA. A Narda. I mean, are you kidding me? A Narda RDA. I got re up from Omboy OC. I got packages from Omboy and Kent and Beecher today. That's unbelievable. If I got a package from Turk and Eric, all you know, like all of them in the same day, I'd be like, all my friends sent me a package today. All of them. I love this. What a great vape mail. What a really, truly fun ass vape mail. We're going to, woo, we're going to liquid taste. I think, I think that's where we're going to end up tonight. We went a little bit long with the mail. We went a little bit long with the uh, ranting, and I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. But next vlog, the vlog after Thanksgiving, we are definitely going to do a band review. Absolutely, undeniably going to do a band review because our very own Tribal Buddha, let's just start the hype train right now, our very own Tribal Buddha has written and recorded and sent me music like his band yeah shrek i got one uh it's right here i just had it out where'd it go yep addy stack addy stack addy stack uh, the the first order of business tomorrow is to assemble this and to hope it helps with some semblance of like non-anarchy in this cabinet that I have off to the side that nobody can ever see. It's just chaos in there. Top to bottom chaos. Chaos. So I'm hoping this can bring some like order to the chaos. Addy stand Shrek. Addy stand. Addy stack. Hell yeah, Addy stack. And that's actually it. That's the mail. Face me, Vupu, Atticus. I mean, can't, so many good things. What a good ass mail. In fact, our last act right now is to take a toot on this here uh, Joytech Widewick. 
the Joyetech Wide Wick 12 milligram uh, deep cut squava jelly go. I mean, that's pretty good. That's uh, pretty crispy right there. Holy shit. No complaints so far. Eat a pickle. You really want me to eat a pickle right now? You want me to ruin my palate before we taste liquids? Here's the thing. I'll eat a pickle as the last act of the vlog. Okay? I'll eat a, I'll eat a habanero pickle as the last act of the vlog. I promise. We, we will do this. We will do this. But not before I taste liquids. And not before... I catch up on the super chats. That's it for the very random liquid or very random liquid tasting. That's it for the mayo hall. This wide wick. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Joy tech. That's some severe play right there. Whoa, joy tech. That's like uh that's like Argus. Argus levels of wobble right there. Argus levels of wobble. I don't know what the wide wicks are accomplishing, but it feels like a nice, crispy, nice vape. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> I love that meme. Okay, let's get back uh, to some uh, super chats here. Trapped Musing said, how can I get uncommon ASAP before I will be a criminal? Shit. Uh, I don't know if super good ships directly to Australia. It might be worth a shot to see if you can get it directly from super good, but there has to be uh, a, a company that will ship to Australia. There has to be, there has to be, you, you, you're going to be a criminal anyway, because it's not, you know, unless it's part of your prescription prescription, fuck. That's ridiculous. How is, in Australia, explain this to me. How is a prescription model not complete prohibition? Did we all study different histories or something? You see, in the Americas, <laughs> in America, in the United States of America, throughout all of the 1920s, we had what was called a uh, prohibition, alcohol prohibition. It all started with people like Pave and Meredith Berkman who were morally opposed to alcohol consumption. You know, you'd see ladies walking with big signs that says, you know, no lips that touch alcohol will touch ours. We're going to shame people for drinking past prohibition. Of course, it didn't reduce the demand. It just gave way to a gigantic, you know, a gigantic illicit market. You know, we're having bathtub mint and juleps and speakeasies. It's all unregulated. People are dying. It's horrible. The mafia has like full control of the country. And then, <laughs> but during prohibition, during this time, you could still drink alcohol if you got a prescription. You could get a prescription for bourbon. You could get a prescription for gin. You could get a prescription for vodka. It was complete prohibition except for a prescription. So you mean to tell me in Australia, the only way to get a vape is through a prescription? Otherwise, it's completely prohibited? I'm sorry. That's prohibition. That's 100% prohibition. That's pure, pure prohibition. Prohibition without a prescription is still prohibition. Yeah, prohibition. That's what it is. That's U.S. level 1920s alcohol prohibition happening to vaping in Australia. <sighs> prohibition did give us NASCAR. Really? Is that where NASCAR stems from is prohibition times? I know very little about, about NASCAR apparently. Yeah. Yeah, how yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, look, rifleman, it's this I, how is this not prohibition? How is a PMTA for every single SKU you sell, every nick strength, every flavor a million bucks per unit? That's simply a ban. It is a ban. It, it's a regulatory ban. It's a complete regulatory ban. And not even that, like 
all of vaping in the United States is going to come down to lawsuits. All of it. There's, there's like 19 lawsuits all going on right now against the FDA. And judges are looking at the FDA. And remember the surprise switcheroo where all of these people submitted their PMTAs and then like halfway through the process, they went, oh, sorry, here's a bunch of more rules that you guys forgot to follow. So you don't get to be a PMTA. And a judge went, well, you, don't, you can't do that, FDA. You can't just implement a new rule without going through through the proper bureaucratic channels of having like an open comment period, intent to regulate. There's rules you need to follow, FDA. And they didn't follow the rules and they just banned. They just went ban happy. They literally just went ban happy and then uh, everybody's suing them, uh, hopefully. And, and hopefully they'll win, you know? Rum runners were good drivers. NASCAR drivers started as bootleggers. Moonshine runners. That is fucking fans fascinating. I used to watch a, a reality show about moonshine distilleries that I got really, really into. I in, in uh, you know in the Appalachia area, and all of the moonshine distilleries where you know it's these guys running illegal moonshine distilleries just hidden in the forest and they have to set it up next to like running water so they can have like fresh running water and they have fires and these big like distilling vats that they cover over the court, you know, like they'll cover it to hide it and then they'll come back and check and make sure that it's still, you know, creating moonshine. Fascinating. I didn't realize, I mean, it makes sense. That makes sense if, if bootleggers were just really fast drivers. Did they only make right-hand turns though? just right hand turns it's like i'm the fastest bootlegger driver in the south but i hope you live on a right turn because my car doesn't go left the car doesn't go left <laughs> raise hell praise dale that's right raise hell praise dale hidden compartments in the cars in case they got stopped yeah Look, I mean, you can take everything that happened during prohibition and apply it directly to vaping. Like there's stores that have little hidden under the counter things for disposables. A modern convenience store is just a speakeasy. If you know what you're doing, if you're like, wink, touch your nose, tap on the table. How about a strawberry banana? And then the guy goes, oh, here you go. It's like a little tiny little speakeasy right there. Sorry, left hand turns, left hand turns. What did I say? Right hand turns? It's left hand turns. Why do I think right hand turns? They don't go clockwise. They go clockwise? No, they go they go anti-clockwise. Well, either way, even if I was wrong about that, praise Dale. Raise hell, praise Dale. Damn it. <laughs> they drove in circles until someone gave up. Oh, I guess if you're being chased by the cops, you you might go in a circle. Maybe that's how it actually started. Maybe that's how it actually started. They're just chasing each other in a circle. <laughs> that could be a thing. King of the Hill. That's right. Rest in peace, Dale. Rest in peace. Okay, you guys. Listen, we have to do a random liquid tasting, but I think we're going to get back to the super chats right now. Tim says, I retract my vote to get rid of disposables. Watofo's next pod is incredible. We just got them at my shop. I can't put it down. I I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have to hit up with Tofo. Get that next pod. I'm glad it's incredible. And I'm and thank you for retracting your vote. I appreciate that. The Weiss uh, got a damn good vape in the Midwest IPA. Got a damn good vape in a Midwest IPA. Oh, you're set. You're set. You're having a great night. You're having a great night. Fishy, shout out to Omboy, as I just received my re-up on the pistachio liquid today. Nice. Hell yes, pistachio. I've been vaping pistachio again for the first time in a little while. Man, man, I forgot how good pistachio is. It's in the odd job. I think my review is going to be up tomorrow if I can remember to upload it tonight. Pistachio. Good on you, fishy. Appreciate you, fishy. Justin, see you tonight. Justin, Justin, Justin. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Justin. Can't wait. Mike T, 206, the double fist bump. Glad to have you back, Nip. 
Nick, hope the break was wonderful. Hey, 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 Mike, hey, love you. Listen, you know, my break was uh, necessary. Uh, I was in the UK and then I came home and was home for like three days and immediately turned around uh, and went up to Santa Rosa, stayed with my dad for three or three days, came home last Thursday. Friday was my anniversary. We had a spectacular weekend. We went and saw Queen on Saturday night, you guys. Queen with Adam Lambert. And let me tell you, this is the second time we've seen this show now, and it's mind-blowingly good. It's mind-blowingly good how good Queen still sounds. Brian May's got that, like, puff of gray hair, and he just comes out and solos, and he's playing awesome. Yeah, it was it was an incredible show. We had a great anniversary. We went out to dinner. We went to go see Queen. We just had a really great weekend, really great anniversary, and uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, it, it was a, it was overall a real good break. All things considered, you know, I still I love spending time with my dad. I like chit chatting with my dad. Um, I think I told this story to the patrons, but there was one morning where my dad got up really really early. He was awake way before five a.m., and so um, he can't walk these days. Uh, so he's in a chair, uh, and he can't roll the chair. So he uses his feet to like scoot. And so I hear my dad scooting down the hallway, scooting down the hallway. The sun's not up yet. I'm a little bit groggy. I'm I'm waking up on their like fold out bed. I'm like, morning, morning. And he's like, Oh, you can hate me for this later, but do you want to get up and watch the Sony product? You know, the Sony a nine launch event. Yeah, sure. Let's get up. So we got up, we made some snacks and we sat in the dark living room. And at five 30 in the morning with my dad, we watched the Sony a nine launch event, which was fun. Like we've had fun kind of goofing off and like talking about cameras and being impressed with this new Sony a nine camera with its global shutter. It's um, it's unbelievable camera. It's a $6,000 camera. It's an unbelievable camera. And so that was like a, you know, a fun little bonding thing, you know, and all things considered, you know, I, I like spending time and I like being up there, you know, it's, it's good times, you know, it's good times. Typical dad power move. Yeah. Getting up at 5 AM, waking me up to watch TV, <laughs> you know, and it's good. And, you know, I, I took him out of the house and we went, uh, we went on some drives and we went to like a liquor store. He can't, he used to be a real big wine guy and because of various things, he can't really have wine so much anymore. So we kind of just went and oogled a bunch of wine. A new liquor store opened up in Santa Rosa. So I drove him there. We just went around the whole store, up and down every aisle, like looking at beers, looking at wine, looking at really expensive bottles of like tequila. And it, it was good. You know, it was good. It was good times. You know, he's doing as good as he, as he, as he, as he possibly can. He's doing as good as he possibly can. Oh, Ern, I'm 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 very sorry to hear that. I love you, man. Shout out to shout out to your dad, Ern. Shout out to your dad. It's tough, you know. You know, it's hard. It's weird just growing up and, and you know, I was having this deep thought completely unrelated to anything vaping or vlogging or anything like that, but I was having this deep thought the other day when I was spending time with my dad. The idea that I'm 46 years old and it's weird growing up and then getting to the ages that your parents were when they were making decisions, you know, about their life. It's like, you know, I'm this age and my dad was four years younger than me when he got diagnosed with Parkinson's, you know? And so I'm thinking about, wow, like I'm that age now. And I'm, you know, I try to see the world like through my dad's eyes and, and imagine being his age when certain, you know, life events were happening. It was just blowing my mind. It was just, I was just tripping through time, you know, and it's just weird uh, watching your parents grow up, you know, and, and, and be old. And, and then you kind of, you kind of slide in and you take care of them a little bit. And it's like, suddenly they're your kids now, you know, <laughs> I go over to my dad. I'm like, dad, are you hungry? You thirsty? You want a snack? You know, you want something to eat? And he's like, oh yeah, I'm kind of hungry. You want to make a, you know, this, that, and the other. You want to cut me a slice of cheesecake? I'm like, yeah, I'll cut you a slice of cheesecake. You want some uh, orange juice? Get him some orange juice. You know, it's a weird, it's a weird turn of events, but my dad, you know, my dad will always be my dad. Uh, I have a complicated relationship, but he'll, he'll always be my dad and I'll always love him and I'll always love spending time with him. There's going to be times 
you know, as we get into 2024, like I'm, I'm trying not to overshare right now, but there's going to be a lot of visiting dad in 2024. Just a, 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 a lot of it as, as frequently as I can. And I'm going to try not to let it interfere with content. I'm not going to let it try to not, not let it interfere with live streams. But the reality is it's probably going to interrupt some content. It's probably going to interrupt some live streams. And I don't feel super bad about it because, you know, it's my dad and I want to spend time with my dad. And I know my dad's not going to be around my whole life, you know, and, the, you know, and there's big times in my life where I wasn't even talking to my dad. And I want to make up for, you know, for, for, for times that we were apart, you know, anyway, I'm, I'm going to start getting all weird and emotional. So let's take, let's, let's, let's drag this vlog out even a little bit longer and let's, uh, let's have a very random liquid tasting, right? I think that's what we're going to do. That sound good? Liquid tasting? So yeah, the moral of the story is, you know, if, if your parents are still here, just give them a call. <laughs> just give them a hug. Just text your mom and say, hey, I love you, mom. It goes a long way. It really does. Yeah, count your blessings. Tell those that you, tell, tell, tell those that you love, you love them. I'm a, I'm a huge believer in that. Tell the people that you love that you love them because they need to hear it. People need to hear that shit. So with that said, uh, shirts off, shirts off, everybody shirts off, shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. Okay. Okay. Now, hang on. I'm going to put these into the chat so you guys can vote. Uh, on the new poll, old Paul's done. Didn't even see the results. Now, <sighs> let me get these in. Is that what this is called? Nope. And then let's go with, and then this last random bottle. Okay. Uh, so I'm starting a poll in the chat right now. Please, everybody vote on it. But what are you voting on? Well, we're voting on the very random liquid tasting. Oops. We're not going to be able to vote on the very random liquid tasting if we don't have a hi, hey, if we don't have a camera to point at all of the liquids that we're going to be tasting. So this is up on the chopping block. I discovered this bottle. I have no idea where it came from. It's just called Almondine. And that sounded good to me. Ink Lords is back. This is black to black. We never got to try this. I have no idea what it tastes like. Ink Lords. We're doing four tonight. Layers Red Berry Trifle. Layers Red Berry Trifle. And then lastly, uh, yeah, it's the Fuji, uh, Fuji Apple Cherry. It's the Fuji Apple Cherry. This was going to be my original liquid tasting contestants, but the Fuji Apple Cherry uh, made it. It made it in. So let's vote. Oh, oh, holy shit. That's genius. That is freaking genius. It comes this red, this, okay. This is genius. This is gen. This is genius. There's the voting music. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Apple cough syrup, please. Apple cough syrup. It might not be. It might not be. One thing. There, let me tell you this while you guys are voting. This little bottle. It came with a tiny little bottle that I didn't know. I'm like, what's in this little tiny little bottle? It's ice. This is ice. It says, for those of you who enjoy your liquids iced, 
we have included a complimentary ice shot. Simply add the entire 10 mils to your bottle and shake well before use. Ice shot. Fuck, oh, that's cool. That's rad as hell. Uh, I might need to get some nicotines as well. I might need to get some nicotines, depending on what wins. And this is too much stuff. This is a lot of stuff. It's going to take me a minute to clean up my office tonight, that's for sure. Damn, wish that pod didn't have so much wobble in it. If you don't vote to do, then you don't get to vote. Mike D. It's a sexy King Phil. <laughs> if you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote Funky. I think I need to add nicotine to these, though. If the Fuji Apple Cherry wins, which, I mean, look, it's way ahead. It's way ahead. That is way ahead. Widewick, Widewick's holding out. All right, since I think this one is going to win, I'm gonna see, yep, we're gonna get some nicotine. We're gonna add some two Nick shots to this. And I don't think I wanna ice it right now. The idea of an iced cherry, <sighs> woo! It's gonna be tough, it's gonna be tough. Let me get some nicotines. It's a 100 mil bottle, so I will be adding two nicotine shots. These are Nick Nick shots. It's crazy. This is one of the craziest things ever because of the because of the EU and the TPD. Their whole like you can't have a bottle of nicotine over 10 mils. Just a completely arbitrary rule, and what that did to the market was. Take this process of adding nicotine to your e-liquid from the manufacturer in their ISO certified lab environment and just gave it to the consumers. It's a weird, a weird, weird flex in my opinion to have that 10 mil limit. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's a shame this couldn't have been done by the manufacturer. I'm glad that for our own safety, the government makes us add our own super concentrated nicotine shots to our e-liquid. Crazy. So completely arbitrary. Okay. Now, no ice, no ice yet. We're gonna take we're gonna taste it de-iced first. De-iced. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this poll because Fuji Apple Cherry has clearly taken a huge, huge lead. Uh, Layers Red Berry Truffle is in second place. Ink Lords uh, Black to Black is in uh, third place. And then unfortunately, Almondine, you just, you have to go wait for an audience with less discriminating tastes. This came from Sweden. It's a Swedish liquid, Almondine is, by the way. Is a liquid from Sweden. So we're gonna shake. Let me just shake this up real quick. Yep, we're gonna cheese our jelly later. Don't even worry. Right now, Jesse, uh, some of my favorite e-liquids uh, include, um, if you know Twisted Timmy, Twisted Timmy's Coils. Uh, he has one called Fresh Batch that I love the shit out of. He has one called 21 Grams that I love the shit out of. If you know Deep Cuts, Old Eric over there at Deep Cuts, his guava jelly kills me, slays me into the ground. One of my favorite liquids of all time. Yeah, Almondine. I, I love almonds too. That's why I, I wanted to try it out. My, one of my favorite bevies when I worked at Starbucks uh, was uh, an almond steamer. And it's literally, I would just take uh, milk 
2% milk, steam it up like for a latte, take a cup, put like five or six shots of almond syrup in it, hot milk, drink. It was delicious. I loved it. Okay. Is that enough? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Now, let's taste this. And we're going to be tasting it tonight on this little setup that I put together. This is a TM24 Pro Series. These aren't the God Coils, but there are uh, Staggertons in here. Kent in 2020. 2020. I think it was 2020. I think it was 2020. In 2020, <laughs> Kent went through a Staggerton phase. He was just making a shit ton of Staggertons. And he's like, dude, I'm going to send you some Staggertons. I was like, oh, all right, sick. And then uh, he sent me this TM24 Pro Series deck with Staggertons in it. And they vape. I mean, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, Paradigm Shift. Honestly, Timmy is kind of killing the vape game as far as liquids go right now. But the 21 grams, the fresh batch, the paradigm shift, they're all good. They're all good. You're more of a Cleveland steamer? Yeah. I had that feeling about you, Swazzy. I had that feeling about you. I was like, yep, Swazzy, that's a, that's a, that's a person who likes Cleveland steamers. We're, so, uh, we're also running this on the Regenesis. I've been enjoying that Cathyla so much that I thought, well, I should. I haven't vaped my Regenesis in a while. And it's sick. And I love it. And I love this button. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Okay. I remain optimistic yet skeptical. So hang on. We didn't even knuckle it yet. We didn't even knuckle it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what goes down here. I like that all my TM24 Pro Series caps are permanently adjusted to the airflow that I like because I never adjust it and I let the O-rings just get like hard in there so that I can never adjust it. I just want it to be at this perfect airflow every time. Pow. All right. There we go. I don't know about that Ultem cap on the Regenesis, but it's not the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Is it? I mean, if this Regenesis didn't have uh, the graphics on the side. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Deathwish mods. I'm just kidding, okay? Jeez. Let's smash that like button. Let's have a toot. Cheers. Fuji Apple Cherry. Okay, well, here's the thing. I am going to sit with this for just a second. Have some toots, a little bit throaty. So you're going to get some tunes. And I'm going to mute my microphone, and I'll be right back. Give me, like, literally one full minute. <laughs> V8, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you last week? What did I tell you in the last vlog?
Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> my first <coughs> my first feedback it's a little bit throaty. It's a hair throaty for old Grim Green. I know that I have a soft throat. I'm I'm a well I'm well aware of my soft throatedness. I do have a bit of a soft throat. This is uh very throaty to me. Like expertly throaty. <laughs> like ex like deliberately throaty it feels like. But uh it's delicious. It's crazy delicious. Um it's apple, it's cherry. I don't know how they did it, but the apple tastes like apple, the cherry tastes like cherry. It um, it's it they're not even like distinct separate flavors. It's like all on the inhale, all I can taste is like Fuji apple. And then as I exhale, it's like cherry, by the way, here it is. That's what it is. That's what it feels like. I don't know that this would be good iced. I don't know that this would be good iced, but it is legitimately good right now. I am soft throat, so it is hitting me funky in the throat, but it tastes like cherry. It tastes like cherry. This is kind of the cherry flavor that I had wanted all the way, like way back in 2009, 2010. I don't know if anybody's ever gone that far into like the Grim Green universe, but once upon a time, there was a podcast called Vaporcast, and I'm still friends with all the dudes in Vaporcast, but this was like 09, 2010, 09, 10, that time frame, maybe into 2011 even. Was it into 2011 even? They did a podcast called Vaporcast, and it was the first vaping podcast, and it was great, and I was a guest on it a couple of times, and one of the things that they used to like to do on that show, which is kind of where I lifted this from, was random liquid tastings. They would all taste the same liquid and then, you know, describe it, talk about it, mouthfeel, and, and all this stuff, and they would really go in depth. And there was one time we tasted a totally wicked e-liquid cherry flavor, cherry flavor, and it was all, we all at the same exact time were just like, oh, <laughs> nope. It tasted the most like cough syrup that I had ever tasted. It was like they used cough syrup flavoring in this totally wicked cherry liquid in 2009. And I think Adam on Vaporcast said it tasted like a gunshot wound. <laughs> And I, I have never forgotten that saying. I have never forgotten that. He described it as, oh, it tastes like a gunshot wound. And I thought, holy shit, that's so crazy accurate. And I don't know why. I don't know why it is. This does not taste like a gunshot wound. This tastes like apple cherry, like cherry cherry, like the cherry that I've always wanted to vape cherry. The only other good cherry was uh, Bogan. It was the Ducks Nuts. Was that the one? Hang on, I gotta fact check myself here. Bogans brews the Ducks Nuts. Cherry Jam Filled Donut. Yeah, Cherry Jam Filled Donut. That was a good cherry. That was like the priorly the only good cherry I've had before this Franken Atticus Fuji Apple Cherry. This is delicious. This is apple, cherry. This is the cherry that I've wanted since the beginning of vaping. And it happens to be a little bit throaty. Just a hair. Just a hair throaty, okay? Yeah, I might do that. I might do that, uh, Shrek. That's a good call. I might do that. I might, I might let this sit for like 24 hours. Maybe it'll take maybe it'll maybe it'll take down some of that throatiness oh fucking bogan sam's right there what up vaping bogan happy to see your face hope you're doing well buddy i miss you we're we going back to the uk in may and i'll stay at the good hotel this time <laughs> so we can do hot tubs every night spa every night Yeah, Ducks Nuts. That was the one. That was the other good cherry. Vogan, I don't know if you've had... You're closer, but... Franken Atticus 
has some new hotness out. This apple cherry is killing me. Killing me good. Killing me good. Holy cow. Yeah, in fact, I st Sam, I still owe you money. <laughs> I still owe you money. Here's the story of why I owe the vaping bogan money. I went to the UK and I'm, you know, I'm texting Sam and he's like, dude, the hotel has a hot tub, has a spa. We can go in the spa. I was like, shit. Yeah. I didn't bring any shorts. He's like, oh, I'll go to the Nike store and I'll just pick you up a pair of shorts and then you can come over. We can go get in the hot tub. I was like, fuck, that's perfect, bro. I'll just, I'll pay you back. I'll get you back. I'll get you back. Haven't got him back yet. Haven't got him back yet. I think I owe him like $45 between the shorts and like, I think you paid for my five guys at one point. So I think we added that on to the total. <laughs> so the next live stream you do, Sam, I'm going to just, I'm going to show up and I'm going to leave you a wicked big super chat. I'll leave you like more super chat so that YouTube can take it. And then you can still get what I owe you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bogan. I'm sorry, Sam. I do. I owe you money. Okay. Well, in closing, yeah, I would recommend uh, the apple cherry. It was the first one I saw that I was like, whoop, whoop, cherry, apple cherry. Apple cherry. This is delicious. It's getting less throaty as I vape it more. It's getting less throaty. I think my throat's getting acclimated to it. Taking the car bar, <laughs> the car bar. Okay, guys. Well, shit. That was a really good liquid tasting. I'm gonna go check in and see if there's any super chats. But if not, this is gonna be, uh, you know, we're winding down. We've been going for th almost. We've been going almost. Uh, this is three and a half hours right now. This is three and a half hours right now. And that's okay, but like that's a lot to ask from one person, I feel. Fishy! Oh, Fishy, oh, we already got shout out to Omboy for the freaking pistachio. Justin's gonna be there tonight. Mike T, you're back. Queen Honey Bunny. Queen Honey Bunny. I love you, Queen Honey Bunny. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for those hearts. Thank you for those hearts, the Queen Honey Bunny. Uh, that's right. We The last act is to eat a pickle. Um... And I don't know where I ended up putting them. Where did I put? Oh, I, I guess I lost the pickles. I don't know where they uh, ended up. Actually, wait, seriously. Where the hell did I put the pickles? Oh, here they are. Okay. So in closing, we're going to destroy my mouth with a habanero Kool-Aid pickle as, uh, as God intended. Otherwise, you know. I feel like face meat wouldn't have crossed paths with me unless I was supposed to eat some habanero Kool-Aid pickles. Uh, I just want to warn you that I don't do spicy very well. Um, I actually haven't done spicy like my whole life. I never was into spicy anything. Uh, and then I went to New Zealand for that Oceana Expo and I came back from New Zealand with some mango some sort of mango hot sauce. And uh, I just started eating it. I just started putting it on stuff and like powering through, like suffering through, just sweating, just sweating and sweating and sweating. And it probably wasn't even that spicy, like compare it to some other things, like I'm assuming these habanero pickles are. Oh, I tore off your little yes. Oh, now I feel bad. Okay. Did I get all this? Oh. Now, if you've never had, oh, that, was just, that smells spicy. My eyes are watering. Face me, what are you doing to me? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, my poor asshole. I know, Queen Honey Bunny, I know. And I and now I did and now I jam on some spicy stuff every you know every once in a while, I I, I jam on some super I jam on some uh, spicy stuff. What do you have to say here, Earn? Earn says let's throw the show super chat on the screen. 
Grogan stream soon? Please, thanks. Pick a number. Grim Army Strong. Oh, wait. I need my translator app. I need my translator app to decode the rest of this super chat. There, let's, no, let's do a new one. Hashtag dry oatmeal. There it is. Hashtag dry oatmeal. Yep. Well, that confirms it. It's definitely going on a shirt now. We're going to put dry oatmeal in Japanese across the front of a grim green shirt. That's just what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to mute myself real quick so nobody hears any like disgusting chewing sounds because I know that's not a great thing to listen to. So I'm going to just dive in. And if it's bad... I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Why? 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 My nose is already running. Why is it spicy? <sighs> Sweating. That uh, habanero, that doesn't fuck around. I don't mess around. Woo! Sweating. I got sweat like dripping down the trooper. Dripping down Stuart. Huh. That was hot. That was spicy. I, I'm still... But I know you're not supposed to like drink anything. Like don't drink water. Don't drink milk. The only way to get acclimated to spice is to just power through it. The next Yo-Yo meetup... I'm bringing these and I'm forcing everybody to eat them. I want you to see I'm not just a puss. These are spicy. I could probably get an, another bite down, but it was like immediately spicy. <laughs> I was expecting like maybe some upfront like Kool-Aid Kool sweetness. No, it's like, oh, that's a Kool-Aid pega spicy. It just punches you in the face. Cameron, aloha. We just uh, took a bite of the habanero kool-aid pickles courtesy of uh, our very own resident uh kool-aid pickler face meat so here these will last us literal years i may take a, another bite of that same pickle in like a year maybe in like a year i feel like uh that's that's the proper uh <laughs> time frame <coughs> Woo! okay wow what a damn what a what a what an exciting way to end that stream. Sweating. I'm sweating behind my ears. I'm sweating behind my ears. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's like uh, f some sort of fruit punch cherry Kool-Aid. The regular old uh, Kool-Aid pickles, the non-habanero Kool-Aid pickles, are the bomb.com. I, I love them. I, I love the crap out of them. These. No, my ears aren't ringing. My ears aren't ringing. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not cut out for that. I'm too delicate, you know? I'm too delicate these days. Yeah, I'm thirsty and I'm breaking stuff. Well, it's gonna take me a year to clean up, so I'm gonna get that process started right now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ta I'm gonna take my leave and I'm gonna say, hey everybody, I love you guys. Thanks for coming out. It's Thursday, you know, it's vlog day. I feel like this is a staple in my life. You know, like even if it was just me and Sick Boy just hanging out, that would be that would be a, a fun vlog. You know, I, I have fun. I hope you guys have fun. I hope I can get some good information to you. I hope we can keep defending vaping. I hope that we can keep getting everybody who smokes cigarettes currently to switch the way that we got to switch. Always, always defend vaping. Stand against disposable bans. Stand against, you know... Nick Caps, stand against 
What? Apple's like, oh, do you want to install macOS Ventura right now? No, of course not. That's crazy. Why would you ask me that? Stand against it. Defend all vaping. Defend all vaping. Yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands. Don't touch your face. Um, I'll see you the week after Thanksgiving. I'll see you the week after Thanksgiving. And right now, I'm, I'm kind of tossing around the idea of doing a stream very close to Christmas, maybe like on Christmas Eve. For anybody who's just around, hanging out on Christmas Eve, figure, you know, could create a cool stream or a place where people can hang out who, you know, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I'm away from my family on Christmas, um, you know, I'm, I'm with Casey and the dogs, but I don't, I don't, I'm not with my family. I don't get to see my family. So I'm just assuming there's other people out there who maybe don't get to see their family on Christmas. And I'd like to do a stream so that maybe we could hang out and like have just a, you know, a, like a little family Christmas stream just to hang out and, and bring some joy into people's lives. You know, I think that could be a cool thing. Die hard stream, <laughs> die hard stream. Die Hard Stream. Christmas Eve Die Hard Stream? All right. It's being considered. It's doing, it's being considered. We'll do a Grogan Christmas stream. <laughs> Look, I, I'll, I'll gladly join you. I, I, I don't have the, all the cool stuff to build like you do, though, Bogan. Sam gets the cool stuff, and I just do color commentary, and that's okay, and that's fun. You know? That's fun. Let's, let's maybe we'll do a Grogan Christmas stream where Santa hats invite everybody play some Christmas music. Yeah, sure. Oh, World of Peas. Uh, I would like to do a stream for you. It would be a fun distraction, right? Uh, that's That's got to be rough, World of Peas. My heart goes out to you, man. That, that, that's got to be tough. That's got to be tough. I love you guys. And uh, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to get my office cleaned up as quickly as possible so that we can get into some Discord hangings. I got descriptions to do. I got timestamps to do. We got to turn those into chapters. I got to upload a video so it's ready to go for tomorrow. This my work doesn't end when the stream ends. We'll do retro builds. Oh, just roundwire life. Hashtag roundwire life. Hey, world of peace. Love you. Hey, Ern, I love you. I love that you, you just said that. Christmas guar stream. Shit, yeah. I'll just get Balzac. Fly out to L.A. He could be in the in my office. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I was thinking is maybe like a little community family sort of Christmas Christmassy stream for maybe people that you know you don't necessarily get to see your families or be around a lot of people on Christmas. I figure maybe we can all hang out, share the love a little bit around Christmas time. And I, and I know it's like a generally sometimes it's not a great time for people. Uh, you know, I love Christmas. I look forward to it every year. And I know that some people don't. And I know it's a tough time for some people. So maybe we could get together, spread the love, make people feel not so alone and so separated. You know, which, you know, I'm all about bringing people together. I'm all about bringing people together. And I'm all about maggots. Maggots. The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots, 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 maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. Well, I'm gonna go listen to Guar. So hey, that's all, you guys. Peace out. I love you. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. Our new outro is the soothing sounds of my BFF. It's own boy OC, believing he can fly. I love you guys. Have a good Thanksgiving. I'll see you the Thursday after Thanksgiving. And then I'll see you the week after that and possibly the week after that. So we still got some more vlog legs left in this year. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, no, V8, come out. You know, come out to the Christmas stream. We'll hang out. We'll do Christmas. Maybe we can do, we can do some gift exchanging. I'll, I'll send out some gifts. We can open them on stream. I'll get my patrons on the stream. Like, why not? Why not? They're falling like rain. Now in the house of the Necro Lord. <laughs> Flash of fear when he sees my sword. All right, you guys. Hey, that's my best odorous impression. Peace out, you guys. Defend vaping. I love you. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. I'll see you the week after Thanksgiving. Boosh. 
I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I can fly.